Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lids, and we're back for some more Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, and you might be asking yourself, wait, hold on a second, Lids, this is not the usual day that we do Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, and you would be correct. The reason for that is that I'm going to be out of town on our usual day, and admittedly, I forgot to mention it during our previous stream. I felt bad, so consider this sort of a proactive makeup stream of sorts. It is a work night. It is already late at night, certainly at least for those in Europe, so I don't really know how we're going to do from a, a turnout standpoint today, and obviously, as I was saying before, it is not our usual day, so it's not as if people are expecting us, really, to be doing Mass Effect 3 today. But we'll see. We will see. So, uh, still happy to take requests for characters, weapons, enemies, arenas, custom challenges, all that stuff, just that, of course, it may end up only being me and some of those things require that I be the host and we may find ourselves in quite a few public lobbies today depending on just how many people we can get so all that we'll just sort of see how things are going but uh why don't we well I suppose we could get a lobby started up here and I'll jump into discord in case we do get some people going otherwise we could look at some challenge progress and that's potentially a direction we could look to go in if we are looking for a source of inspiration there are a few things that we're relatively close to it seems like but could use maybe one or two more sub challenges to complete how's it going tark how are you let me get into discord as i was saying there we go okay so yeah happy to start a lobby up here and if anyone is interested in tagging along with me you're welcome to do so if we can get people in from discord great and chat, you know, obviously some overlap there, but as I was saying, we may very well find ourselves needing to go the public lobby route, depending on just how we're faring on that front. Got a couple of matches in you. All right, Tark, I love to hear it. Yeah, I know, I know it's it's late because, or certainly for Europe, because I could only, it's a work day for me, so I could only start up after I was done with work and done getting something to eat. And that means across the pond, it's uh, quite a bit later still. But yeah, you're welcome to jump in. Let me see if you are in Discord. You are. There we go. How are you, Tark? How's it going? Good evening, Liz. I'm good. How are you? Doing all right. Yeah, working from home definitely does help. I'm working from home on Fridays nowadays, so that, that helps even for me to do stuff like this every once in a while. Yeah. I have, uh, usually for four out of five days in the week, I can work from home if I still choose. Nice, nice. Alright, I attempted to send you an invite. Let me know if that yeah, did go not ahead. go through. Okay, great. So yeah, no plan yet for what we're looking to do today. As I was saying, I mean, I'm happy to take requests from people in chat, but I don't know given the hour and day of the week and irregularity of the timing of this. I don't know what our turnout's going to be looking like today, so we might be doing more of just making it up on the fly. Yeah, for a second there, I thought I was uh, getting confused about which day of the week it was when I saw the pop-up on this. I, uh, I very nearly in Discord <laughs> said something like, well, <laughs> no, you're not going crazy. I know this is not the usual day, and not the usual time. You usually do Andromeda on Friday, isn't it? Yeah, and that's that's the other thing, is that in my brain it's also always Andromeda first, and then next day is Mass Effect 3, and now it's the reverse, so I had to fight the urge of going, no, we're starting a Mass Effect stream, and therefore it must be Andromeda. Fair enough. Alright, but uh, is there anything in particular that you would like to go with, Tark? Uh, how about you pick uh, one of the more recent challenges that we can do? Well, unless someone else should, we can do the two of us. Okay, let me see. Apart there's from any... the last couple of weeks, I haven't really been on the screen much, so I'm sure there are a few things I have missed. Okay, I'm trying to think of... If it helps, I'm, uh, I'm a more... I'm a big fan of the uh, mechanical challenges as opposed to the RP challenges. Okay. Uh, trying to think of just where 
the line was in terms of when you were and were not available. So oh, I tried, tried it, to think when I sort of stopped. And it's not like these, these things are dated on the list. I just remember slash have written down the most recent ones in roughly the same place on the page, so very arbitrary, you but... You, you don't keep your tome organized? <laughs> not exactly. Not particularly well. I feel like I need to take a screenshot of it at some point. I'm also half tempted to set some uh, redeem that people can make for a very large number of channel points to have me finally transcribe this somewhere online because, you know, this is definitely not the most efficient of ways to do it, and there's perhaps something to be said for being able to have it in a format where it is more easily shareable with other people. Well, send it to me, I'll transcribe it for you. <laughs> well, That's uh, what I do for work anyway. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, get messy handwritten notes and uh, make sense of them. <laughs> well, the part of the problem is that uh, it's not, well, it's a little messy, it's just a lot of writing, but for the most part, it's just names with little to no additional explanation. So yeah. it takes a lot of either remembering what specifically those challenges were, or just trying to uh, imagine what such a challenge was supposed to be like. Jetpack only, for example, is pretty obvious from the name. On the other hand, what's one that's not very... Best Band in the Galaxy is oh, one of the very that. first ones that we did, or at least one of the first ones that I wrote on this list. And that one is not intuitive, at least not in the way that we did it. Yeah. I think, if, if I remember correctly, some of the last, one of the last challenges we fooled around with was the, uh, was the one where, what was it, Three Blind Mice, was that the name? That's one that I know we've tried a few times together, and it's the yeah, one that I, the, I know I've the... tortured you with on several occasions. No, I actually like it. It's really? Everyone else who doesn't like it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Although I've never played the scoped guy. Okay. Okay. I yeah. played the, uh, what was it, one who has to do all the objective, was it? And one who can only walk backwards? The one who, there's the one who always... The one who can only walk backwards is almost, by necessity, the one who tends to do the objectives. Yes. There's one who is basically stuck in the starting area and can't move much beyond that. Oh, that was one, yeah. And then there's the person who can't, or who has to constantly be scoped. So those <laughs> are the three. I remember you played the guest jogger and I'll tell me that once, and I think you made a bad decision with the weapon because you couldn't see anything. Yeah, I think, I I can't remember exact, I think it was the, was the Kishok maybe was the weapon and it was particularly bad, either that or... I, I would think the Kishok is one of the better ones for that challenge because it has the least amount of magnification. I maybe that was, maybe one. after the fact you were telling me that I should have taken the Kishok and instead I took, no, it might have been, um, I think I did Collector Sniper Rifle. Oh, oh. You I have think all the, that's what I did. That is a, like an orange filter too, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think it, what I can tell you is I'm pretty sure it was a mistake. Yes. And that's when you said, no, Lids, you definitely should have taken the Kishok instead. Oh, uh, fun times. So yeah, I mean, that's that's certainly on there. That does, of course, require having three people, and at the moment, at least, it's just the two of us. But Yeah, no, I was just thinking if you're looking for sort of a cutoff mm -hmm. sort of from when I was... Well, that's, there. I mean, that's that is I pretty early on the list for what it's I mean, worth. It, it, it might have been an old challenge when I did it the first time, so let's see. I don't know. Since then, a lot has been added. How about? I feel like you've done that one. Uh, that. That. I mean, the, the other tricky thing is just there are some that either need to be a full party or definitely benefit more from having more people in. 
So like yeah. there there are a couple here maybe that are duos, but not many. And there are some that you know like you could make them duo. Like there's um what's one of the ones that's definitely a duo is Shady Deal. Which oh, okay. is based on one of the comics with uh Liara and Farin. It is based on when Liara Based, uh, when would this have been? Is this just before? Or right around the start of Mass Effect 2, basically. Where Liara retrieves Shepard's body. And, oh. uh, and basically gets it and sends it to Cerberus. And has to deal with the Collectors in doing so. So it's Liara and Farin against the Collectors. Who was Farin Farron is the Drell agent dude who... S Liara does sort of have as a, a teammate of sorts of hers once she becomes the Shadow Broker, although she oh, is... Oh, yeah. She's also... You, you right. rescue him in Lair of the Shadow Broker, although yeah. she says some things that suggest he's maybe not really the most trustworthy of partners, and yet she still, for some reason, seems very attached to him, so... I don't know. Yeah. yeah, there wasn't decisions where you could choose to like let him be tortured or inter or intervene. Or yeah, in the, in the DLC. Yeah. So there is that. That one's pretty straightforward. It's not really a mechanical challenge as much as it's just you know, one person is taking a an Asari adept to be Liara, and the other person is taking. A Drell probably infiltrator would be the most reflective of Farron, although you could probably make a case for being any Drell. Yeah. So we could okay. do that. Otherwise, there are other ones that are more truly mechanical in nature that you know might usually be the type of thing that we do with four people, but we could certainly scale it down for two. Oh. There's, oh, okay, the, this one could be really tough, but um, depending on if we have other people in the lobby or if we open it up to pugs, but did we do hot potato together? Does, doesn't ring a bell, man. Okay, well that's the one where it's basically passing the shuriken back and forth between people, where oh, God. one person starts with the shuriken. And you have to get a kill with the shuriken. Or, well, one person starts with the shuriken and can't use anything else. You can only use the shuriken. Then, once you get a kill with the shuriken, you pass it off to the next person. And then they have to stop using all their skills, all their other weapons, and have to use only the shuriken. And only once they get a kill do they pass it to the next person. And so it's this rotation of, okay... <laughs> You will get the shuriken at some point, and when you do, you want to get rid of that thing as quickly as possible. So, <laughs> okay. usually, or at least we've done it once before, and when we did it was with a full party. So, that meant that you didn't have the shuriken for that long, because of course you were splitting it between a full group of four people. But if it's just the two of us, then that's a lot of time. You might be spending half the match, or maybe even more, with the shuriken. So that's... A pretty significant handicap at that point, if you're up for that. That is more on the extreme side, I guess. It sounds fun, though. <laughs> so, uh, it depends it's, how, it's how like daring you're feeling. It's, it's not, it's not gonna, it's not like it's gonna add to your weight at all. <laughs> right, right. So, you know, you probably want to take a character who can get stuff done with a, a totally separate weapon, or just rely almost entirely on skills, but then... You know, do you have any sort of damage scaling for when you do eventually get the shuriken? That's up yeah. to you. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What? I'll grab my... Uh... Okay, so we we can't actually do any combo shenanigans as, as long as there's just the two of us. Because once I prime something, you're, you're going to have to use the shuriken. Right? True. True. So the, the person who has the shuriken, I mean, maybe, I think we might have even made some restrictions for the types of damage scaling you were and were not allowed to use on the shuriken. Like, we might have said you weren't allowed to take an SMG amp. 
We yeah. might have said you weren't allowed to take certain types of ammo, but and if it's just the two of us, then maybe we could say, you know, you could take an elemental ammo and then at least the person who's using the shuriken can prime for some combos. So we've some potential to do that. But otherwise, yeah, you probably need to take a character that can do all the combos by themselves because whoever has the shuriken is not going to be helping with that at all. I'll grab the base human engineer, then he can combo pretty Okay, well that's a good himself. idea. I might also go a base human in that case, but go adept, maybe? Another great combo. That's what I'm thinking. Just uh, paladin as well, although he's a bit oh, true. Post. Let's see. So then... Make sure that you take the shuriken. Um, okay, so for what it's worth, if you're taking the human engineer, do you have combat drone spec? Yes. Okay, so technically speaking, you would not be allowed to use the combat drone when you are on the shuriken. Yes. Which does make it a little bit tricky. I'm gonna have to work against muscle memory because, like, it's usually the first thing I do when I see something is pop out the drone. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's see. So should we have, like, a penalty if you mess up? I think we might have done that. We might have said you need to get a second shuriken kill if you accidentally, you know, use another skill that you aren't supposed to use or use a different that weapon. Yeah, that sounds fair. Okay. That works for me. What was I looking for? Obviously, we're sticking with Platinum. <laughs> oh, Platinum Condor Collector. Of course. Yeah. It's the only way to do uh, it. Probably around five minutes per kill. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare. So yeah, I mean, we could open it up to Pugs, and then we just switch the shuriken back and forth between the two of us, and we just let the Pugs do whatever they want. Or we could keep it as a duo, whatever you prefer to go with. Uh, I don't care. It's, the same. it's okay. probably probably best to keep it duo, isn't it? Okay. If we're actually gonna yeah, do that it. works. The, uh, otherwise, once I'm tr almost killed something, there's some uh, javelin GI is gonna True, come. True, but that, that, at least when we had a full party, that was one of the biggest things, was that people would, would acknowledge who the person with the shuriken was, and they would deliberately try to steal all that person's kills to make them Challenge stick with the, the shuriken as long as possible. So, uh, I mean, it's certainly still possible with two people, but maybe a little bit yeah. harder. Might be fun during the early waves, although later on we sort of... Uh... <laughs> yeah, later on it gets a little <laughs> try trickier. Try and survive. So what do we... Do we want to put any restrictions on ammo type or any other sort of shuriken damage scaling or do we want to just say whatever you want is fine well i picked armor penetration and i think okay. the damage per bullet on the shuriken is so abysmal <laughs> that armor pen does virtually nothing you're probably right okay i'm gonna go i mean usually with this setup i would take basic which i mean i guess does something on the shuriken it's not it's, it's a so huge it's deal. so weird. Anytime I equip the shuriken on any character, it always has the upgrades equipped, which means I've done a lot of challenges <laughs> to the shuriken. I can't imagine why that might be. Yeah, still checking my loadouts every time I start a game to see <laughs> yeah. what weapons I'm actually equipped with. Well if anyone from chat does want to jump in, as I was saying, we've done this before with a, a full squad. So happy to get more people in at the moment, it's just me and Tark, but if there is anyone else who'd like to hop in, you're welcome to. According to the counter, there are five people lurking about. Well, uh, apparently, people heard, <laughs> heard what we were looking to do and said, absolutely not. Steel Wolf, how's it going? Lids on a Thursday, this is true. This is true. I mean, Steel Wolf, if you want to get in for a shuriken challenge, you are invited. You are welcome. If you would like. Because yeah, it's oh, it's been a while, Steel Wolf. It has been quite a while. Short? Awesome. Let's do it. 
Let's get Steel Wolf in here. Okay. Makes this a little less painful. Yeah. <laughs> Split the shuriken across three people now. It's a little bit easier. You have, you have some time to have fun before it starts again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Was right. there any uh, enemy or map associated with each other? Uh, I think... I specifically remember that we did it on Reactor. I don't remember if we made it Reactor Hazard, in which case that might have been deliberate. Mm. <laughs> Just another way to potentially kill Steel from the Shuriken. But uh, I think we can, we can do it with whatever map or enemy we want. It definitely was Reactor. I can't remember what the enemy was off the top of my head, though. So if you have wow. a preference, we can set it or we can just leave it unknown. Yeah. No, 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 this time. Oh, there are little symbols next to our names in the voice channel now. Huh? That's, that's not been on for a long time. Symbols next to our name. Hold on. I see no yeah. symbols. For you, it says uh, playing Mass Effect 3. It's just a game icon. And for me, it's... I think it's like a space invader monster and it says gaming oh i do not see these might need to restart uh, yeah i don't know update, uh, this one. all right well, let's get steel wolf in here hey steel wolf how's it going hello hello it's been a while how are you it's been a really long time yeah well good to hear from you we are looking to do a challenge for what it's worth. So I hope you are prepared for what is a little bit devious, this setup. Did you hear the explanation before or should I give you the explanation? Sure again, something. So basically the way it works is everyone has to take a shuriken and probably one other weapon you'll want. Just, just give me a second. Yeah, okay, no worries. Let's see, what are you rocking, Tark? Okay. And so now, Tark, for what it's worth, I mean, we do have some potential for combos, since there will be at least one other person who can do powers. So that uh, may, may influence what you want to go with. Oh, that's true. Man. Okay. So, uh, Steel Wolf, the way yes. the challenge works is everyone has to take whatever setup you want, Plus a shuriken. And. I do have in mind. Okay. So, the way the shuriken part plays out is that someone will start with the shuriken, using the shuriken. When it is your turn to use the shuriken, it is the only thing. The <laughs> knight! Wait, hold on. Can we get a fourth? Knight, would you like to jump in as well? If we could get a full team for this, this would be great. Uh, I'm up for that, in fact. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let's, uh, Steel Wolf, uh, are you showing up for me? I'm not seeing you right now, so I might just do a public lobby to get you in. Um, supposed to be. Did you delete me? No, can... it's the, the EA app now only shows, like, the most recent ten people that you friended or something like that, so... Any of your older friends just don't show up anymore, which is really That's annoying. It's been maybe why, a year now? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been a while for us, so... You are not showing up, unfortunately. What's up, Smuggy? How's it going? So yeah, I mean, we have room for another person. We're gonna get Steel Wolf in one way or another. It sounds like just Knight a... isn't available just yet. Well, Tark, maybe you can invite me. Yeah, yeah Tark, I'm do you have life, but Steel Wolf? I, I don't see you. <laughs> no? You're, okay. you're, you're, called, you're called Steel Wolf on the EA app, right? I can't even see you, Tark, in fact. Yeah, I don't see you. You have the same name, right? Yeah. Alright, well maybe we nope. just do the Condor Collector Platinum approach. Well, me, bronze. me and Lids have the same issue. We have to unfriend and refriend each other. True, we? we could do that. That is a, that is a potential way to do it. So Condor. You... Okay, Condor Collector yeah. Platinum. I will make it public now oh wait okay this person looks oh. like a pug I know this person from Mass Effect Andromeda 
<laughs> I recognize this name. I have played many matches with this person on Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> so that's, oh, okay. that's weird. <laughs> Instantly joins, and I recognize the name immediately. I'm guessing he's lurking in your stream. <laughs> I, I have no idea. This is, like, exclusively from off-stream matches like around this time of day just farming up stuff <laughs> and uh, farming up credits and played a bunch of matches with them and here he is so <laughs> who knows <laughs> what do you know it looks, new, it looks new to Mass Effect 3 though he's got the base apparently yeah weapons, uh, and says he's just level 6 in total Vormev how are you doing it's been a while yeah confused Wait, so I, I am actually friends with this guy on the EA app, I think. So I could probably message him for what it's worth. Uh, so, Vormev, were you here when we were doing the uh, the Pass the Shuriken Hot Potato Challenge? Because I feel like you were. I feel like you were one of the people who, who participated in this. TJ Monster, how are you? It's been a while for you as well. How's it going? Good to see you. I am too Vormav. Really can't believe that Lids is live on a Thursday. It's true. <laughs> this is this is also true. As Tark was sort of just mentioning before, he has a lot of characters that have a a shuriken with mods all added on. It's almost like it's pretty common for us to use shuriken for challenges. <laughs> well, good to see you guys. So uh, I would say we have a fourth spot in here available because this person's a random pug. Um, I can message them to see what the deal is, uh, because we were not intending to get them, and it's in this weird gray area where, like, I kind of, sort of know them a little bit. He probably saw you on his friends list in-game, I guess? Maybe that was it? I'm also just not seeing him online in the EA app, so now I'm confused. Maybe he's set for invisible or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's well he he read it up on platinum with Avenger Predator and no <laughs> no no equipment. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, exactly, Vormav. We had to get a kill with the unimproved Shuriken in order to pass the Shuriken to someone else. So I I suppose for Steel Wolf and for potentially a fourth person if we get someone else in place here of the semi-random pug. The idea is everyone has their usual setup, but they also take a shuriken. We will take turns using the shuriken. The person who starts off with it can only use the shuriken to deal damage. So no powers, no uh, other weapons or anything like that. Pure shuriken. Only once you get a kill with the shuriken can you pass the shuriken on to the next person? And then that person has to stop using all their powers, all their other weapons, switch to the shuriken, and once they get a kill with it, they pass it on to the next person. So on and so forth. So the more people we have, the more people we split the shuriken between, and uh, the less time any one individual person will have with the shuriken. So perhaps it is a little appealing from that standpoint, but also it does... Uh, lead into some some interesting dynamics where people can uh, can kill steel and make it so that uh, whoever has the shuriken is going to have a bit of a hard time. A bit of a hard time trying to get rid of the shuriken. So we'll see how that stuff plays out. The, the rotation will be predetermined. So like, for example, what we'll probably end up doing is just go in order of what people are listed as right here. So like, I'd start... And then as soon as I get the shuriken kill, I pass it off to Tark. Once Tark is done, I assume we would just have you pass it off to Steel Wolf, and we just go amongst the three of us, and we just have this random-ish fourth person who exists. So that's the idea. Does that make sense? So you start, and then me, and then Steel Wolf? Yeah. Okay. Does killing swarmers count? No. That's a, good, that's a good question, though. That's a good point. So we're talking full-blown enemies here. So swarmers don't count. Collector webs don't count. Bees don't count. The Geth Prime friends, like the turrets, 
and drones, those don't count. Uh, Cerberus turrets technically don't count. So nothing um, that falls from other enemies. By the way, it's... Yep. Do you plan to play on combo or character? No, no. <laughs> don't actually plan on doing that. And yeah, this, this M. Phaedra person is actually someone who is a good player, mind you. A good player at Mass Effect Andromeda. But this is the first time I've ever... And I've played many matches with them before. But this is the first time I've ever seen them on Mass Effect 3. And uh, perhaps that's not a coincidence. Because it does look as though they are quite new. Although actually, I think he was telling me that uh, he used to play on a different platform. I think he originally played on PlayStation and then converted over to to PC, so it may be that even though he looks like a complete noob, he's, uh, he's just new to playing on PC. Okay, wait, oh, hold on. Oh, but now he's gone, which, I'll be honest, even though it was kind of cool to get him in there, it is nice now that we could get a fourth person in from chat. If anyone is interested in taking part in this challenge, we do now have a spot, and then we could truly have everyone participating in the challenge, which is probably for the best, rather than having just this fourth person who isn't really in on it. So if anyone would like to, we do have a spot for that. Okay, everyone has a shuriken. Good, good. So yeah, I think, Vormav, do you remember, did we... Night is logging on now? Perfect. Vormav, do you remember, did we make it so that you can't even mod your shuriken at all? I feel like we might have done that. With, along the lines of the whole, well, you can't increase the damage of the shuriken. What's up, Zach? How's it going? I think we did that. We had no mods on the shuriken allowed? Okay. I feel like, especially since we're probably about to get a fourth person in here, it's not, we shouldn't be at risk of failing the mission because, well, just stinks because one person had a shuriken and they couldn't really do anything with it. Like, there are three other people. So I think we're gonna be okay from a completing the match standpoint. So I, I think we we take all mods off the shuriken. I think we, we go all in. Well, mods or no mods. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure it's gonna make that big of a difference. Does it really matter? <laughs> zero multiplied by anything is still zero, Lids. Yeah. I guess the, uh, even the ultra life materials doesn't really matter because it weighs nothing. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna send Knight an invite. That's the thing I don't remember is if we did anything ammo wise for it. I think, you know, maybe we're okay with doing ammo since, as we were just saying, is it really gonna make that big of a difference when the Shuriken is basically doing zero damage no matter what? So in this case, assuming that Knight takes up that fourth spot once he gets in, it would be I start, then Tark, Tark to Steelwolf, Steelwolf to Knight, and then Knight up to me. Game flat out crashed for Knight. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, the other thing though is that, um, and this might be a little tricky for you, Knight, because I know you're, I think you're in Discord, but you don't usually use a mic, is... What we would probably prefer to do is, as soon as the person who is done getting the shuriken kill gets that shuriken kill, you should say, all right, I'm done. Tark, you're up. You know, basically making it very clear when it's the next person's turn. Because otherwise, you know, everyone's constantly trying to look at the kill feed. And it's hard to keep track of it if you aren't the one who see who is currently wielding the shuriken and sees the game say kill so basically just call it out when you're done yeah don't you worry i will let you know <laughs> yeah i mean it shouldn't be an issue because i'm sure people will be very pleased to get rid of the shuriken no i'm having too much fun Okay, Knight can do in-game caps. That should work. And then, okay, so assuming Knight gets in and is in the fourth spot, that would mean Knight is passing it off to me. So I would be looking for Knight saying that he's done with in-game chat. Gotcha. All right, let me see. It looks like you're back in, Knight. I'm going to try sending you another invite here. Uh, is it? only between each kill or
Yes. I'm not sure what the alternative is. Uh, um, you kill someone with a shuriken, then switch to Dark, then switch to Wii. That is what I understand. Yeah, so like, I start with the shuriken, I get a kill with the shuriken eventually, it might take me a while, so then I say, alright Tark, I'm done, it's your turn. Now Tark needs to get a shuriken kill, and once he gets it, he says, alright, I'm done, Steel Wolf, it's your turn. Then Steel Wolf, once you're done, you say, alright, I got my shuriken kill, Knight, it's your turn. Once Knight is done, Knight will message me in-game saying, okay, I'm done, Lids, it's your turn. Remember the uh, first time you saw in-game chat? Thought it was a hacker invading the game because you're coming from Xbox. Does, does the use of power can be uh, hello? When when you have the shuriken, you are only allowed to use the shuriken. No okay. powers, no other weapons. So that include if you're taking an infiltrator, that includes cloak, that includes cryo blast, that certainly includes sticky grenade. So that might affect what character you choose to take. <laughs> yeah. Knight, whatever, you know, you could just say done. Whatever works well, for I, you. Well, I can't use any power, but I can uh, steal a kill from someone who used a warp on my target. That's true. That's true. There's definitely going to be a lot of people trying to kill... kill Steel kills. There we go. Steel kills from each other. I'm yeah. almost hoping for either uh, reapers or collectors just to have the, just to be able to farm the the, the husks. Yeah, and they're just not there for every wave switch. though. Just don't forget to switch the setting of the game. Oh, yep. So I think we were saying unknown map, unknown enemy. We'll go on gold, because if we did plat, it would take us forever to get a shuriken kill. <laughs> so. Or if it was on platinum, I'll use mods for my shuriken. Yeah, then you get to use mods, <laughs> even then. <laughs> Good luck. But okay, so any questions before we get going? So the order is again, me, Tark, Steel Wolf, Knight, back to me, and then we keep repeating. All right, I think we're good. Let's do it. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> oh, and I guess the goal, the goal for everyone is to try not to be the person with the shuriken at the very end. We got a random reactor. Yes, perfect. I don't care if it's not hazard. Just the fact that we got the same map is cool. It's Geth. So again, the the enemies that the geth prime creates like the geth turret those don't count you have to get a, a real enemy kill yeah okay and i'm starting no so i do not have a lot of weapon damage which is potentially oh, going to be a problem i'm not way dark a fantastic start Come on, come on. Okay, I'm done. Tark, you're up. I'm done. Oh, that was fast. There was a half that the trooper in front of me. Oh no, lucked out. Done. Knight. Okay, knight's up. Oh no, knight, don't take that one. Okay. Oh no, Knight, Knight stole one of my kills, Knight's done. No, I set him up. Okay, I'm up. I made it easier for him. It's your turn, it's. Yup, I gotta find someone. Of course, the first waves will be easier when we have all these basic troopers. Vince, where are you? I'm gonna help you out. Um, no, I'm, I'm nowhere. Don't mind me. You see nothing. You can lean on me. No, no, Tark, go away. Time. Go away, Tark. <laughs> Go away, Tark! Oh, you set me up! I'm done! Bandit. Tark, you're up! Haha! <laughs> Still, Wolf, you're up. Oh, 
Man, I, I should have really? sabotaged you. Yeah, he did yeah. immediately. Um, wow. Night. You guys are speeding. Night's up. Did I just get one immediately as well? You guys are going way too fast. Uh, yeah, is done. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, I accidentally hit that guy. Okay, I will not shoot him with a shuriken. That guy does not count. Uh oh. I would prefer not to die. Right, that pyro is definitely not the best enemy to be going for. No, no! He's right there! There we go, I'm done. Dark, you're up. I'm just gonna grab that dude. Oh. Don't revive him! <laughs> then he'll still have to use the hurricane. Hey. Well, I heard that. I was I was very lucky with the first two, so I'm uh, Oh I'm guessing this will take a while. Let's see, where is he? Never steal that bomber kill. This one, okay. Oh, oh no. I got it. No! I got <laughs> Wait, you got the prime? <laughs> yeah. No! Oh, guys, we need to be better than that. We can't let him get a um, shuriken prime kill. <laughs> Alright, Knight, you're up. I done it already. Guess I'll get him up. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope. That one's mine. That one's mine. You don't get that one. Oh no, he got it! Oh, I set him up with that as well. Okay, now it's my turn. Wait, I need I need to get him right. No, I wanted that one so bad. I wanted that one. Oh, I almost had that too. Darn it. I'm sorry, Nate. I'm not really sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I could have used Shuriken in the world game. I wouldn't mind. It's interesting because they're definitely... I don't know, I probably should have changed characters after we got the, the full team, because I feel like the way to go is uh, taking a character with good weapon damage out. I also almost instinctively started using biotics there. But I didn't. I didn't, though. Thank you. Oh! Kill them, just weaken them, right? Right? That's what we're here to do, isn't it? Isn't it? No! Thanks, Doc. No! He's mine! No! He was mine! This thing doesn't do any damage. No! <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> Damn it. Dark, I wanted to grab him. Yeah, I think oh, I needed to optimize I better I for the... I didn't even see you. I didn't just kill the guy. I think yeah, I needed to optimize better for the... I was confused. Uh, there, there we go. Okay, I'm done. Tark, you're off. No, no, no. Done. No! <laughs> I keep still... on setting you up! <laughs> no! I'm too good for you, Lit. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on leaving enemies with one bar <laughs> right next to Tark. It's gonna be used pretty soon, Lids. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, well, I have a party over here. Yeah, well, I'm uh, on this thing. I'm going to this board. Night is to. What? You weren't kidding. How do you guys go through the cycle so quickly? 
Uh, I'm rubbishing around. Apparently, I really needed to take those. I will. Okay, uh, I, I will get a prime kill. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll use all of my ops packs trying to get a prime kill. Is more realistically what's probably going to happen. The more you try, the better you get. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay, well, don't get stopped. I think we can at the very least agree that that's probably not the right idea. Well. No! <laughs> Should have taken a, a weapons platform. Where's that prime? Tell them. Okay, I'm done. Tark, you're up. Yeah, I think we might have either banned ammo or, or used explosive last time around. This, all this talk of armor piercing ammo being really effective, I feel like we definitely weren't having that kind of success when we did this last time. Has it right now? I, 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 I've been most of that. Oh, you stole it! Oh wait, hold on. Tark is over here. I need to disrupt his plans. Yeah, no worries. There are no troopers there. Ow. I'm not gonna kill a hunter with this weapon. Oh, thank you. Wait for it. I could help. I could. Oh, no! Oh. I was too slow! <laughs> oh, I also apparently accidentally activated the console for a second. Time. Oh, that's pretty viral over there. Whose turn is it right now? Steel My turn? I think Tark finished, so I think it's you. Yeah. Team-wise, meta for the challenge seems to be have the weakest player just run around and do nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's it's interesting because, ow. It depends how much you're committing to kill stealing your uh, away from whoever has the shuriken, and the person who has the shuriken wants to kill steal what everyone else is doing. So it's kind of this cat and mouse. All right, who's gonna actually try to kill stuff? Oh, I think Steve Wolf said he's done. Yeah. Okay, so Knight, you're up. Oh, no! oh that was right there. Oh, no. <laughs> so as you can see, we've had a few times where people have had very easy out. Very easy options. Other times where it's been much tougher. Oh, that's so close. You know when you got yet from to do a grab over a uh, uh, gun kill yet to do the grab. <laughs> no, I had that one. <laughs> Stop stealing them. Never. I could really use armor piercing for a time like this. No. No. <laughs> No! That's so many of them one bar away. No, 50 assists. Thanks, game. Rub it in, why don't you? 
<laughs> Tell me I'm not doing any damage without telling me I'm not doing any damage. You got war browns? <laughs> I've got phasic. That's the worst. That's the worst for um sure again, that's why. Right. This would have been <laughs> extra spicy with a level six pug. But that's the thing, is like we don't really know if we would have been able to get that pug to participate, or if they would have just been a random bystander. Which is a random fourth person basically spectating. No! You weren't you weren't supposed to intervene! Where'd they go? No, don't follow me! Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone! I need, I need my personal space. I need steel wolf. I need my personal space. I've invaded your personal space. No, for, uh, the only time I have been taken for weeks. No, <laughs> the number of enemies who have had I, one I, bar. I saved your list. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I've had at least five, probably close to ten enemies on one bar of health that I've been shooting at, just as someone else takes the kill. It's we're, torture. We're, we're saving you. Or at I'm coming. Hang on. No, no, no. Well, well, I have to reload. Guess I just have to give up on those enemies then. <laughs> we got your back. Don't worry. Uh, those aren't good now. The two tank. They're, they're too good, really. Oh, there you are. I'm coming later. No! No! Hang on. I'll be there. No! I'll soon be there. It's fine. Right, they would be a liability. It's true. I mean, I'm a liability right now. Hey, you got it, by the way. I did! What the hell? All right, oh, apparently oh. I finished it. All right, Dark, you're up. All right, where is Dark? I'm sorry, Dark. I need to do some t sabotaging. And by that I mean that I probably just made that easier for you. I think picking such a combo-centric character was a bit of a mistake, because uh, if I only get one part of the combo off, I am basically just enabling other people to get shuriken kills more easily. Because there have definitely been times where the singularity has just been helping people. Maybe I just spam oh, more. That was an impressive teleport. Oh. Top of the stairs to bottom of the stairs. And this is gonna be my death. I was taken down by combat bro. Do they even do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, quick name oh, got no, I'm flowing through my consumables pretty quickly, yeah. <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, oh, I'm up. Wolf. Wolf. Yeah. Oh, Steel Wolf. Wolf. Okay. Too slow, I saw it coming. Alright, Knight, I think you're up. You can you can uh, do all my uh, my shuriken please. What about your shuriken? Squad member needs help. You can equalize my shuriken. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah, we should pro and he's the one who has the jerkin right now. We should probably revive him. You're supposed to revive him, not go down with him. <laughs> I did revive him! And then I died. Just, just... There you go. Finish with the chicken. I did it for him. <laughs> it doesn't count. Oh, but I do see Knight got a shuriken kill, though. Wait, who is this who's down right next to me, though? Also, uh, I fled to death. Wait, Knight got a shuriken kill while he was dead for a very long no, time? No, that, was, that, that was me. No, but I saw you, and I also saw Knight with a shuriken kill in the kill feed. I saw Knight shuriken in the kill feed. There's no way that counts. I don't know how it happened, but I saw it in the kill feed. Maybe the after that measure there. Knight says there's no way that counts. I don't know. What do we say? Is Knight still using it? Knight is still using it, it seems like. Okay, so Knight's still gonna go for one more, because... I don't know. I was I was gonna give you credit for it, but... It seems like he wants to go for it. Oh, I almost set that one up. Oh, did you get it? You did. Okay, yeah. I'm up. Oh, almost got some quick ones there. There's a prime incoming on the left. Oh, don't worry, guys. I'll take care of it. And in the red. Don't worry, guys. No, I almost had it. I almost had it. I'm killed. Sorry. It'd be so much better that way. Oh, I got it. Okay, I'm done. Tark, you're up. I'm sorry. Prime. Oh, we can't just let Tark go out and get the last kill here. Hold up, guys. Grab the kill. Grab the no, kill. No, 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 Absol no. No, I set Dump. him up again. <laughs> I set him up again. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, it was about not having it to, uh, at the end, right? Yep, so this is extraction, so this is this is when it starts to matter. So if I'm really Wait. clever, I can try to delay and get it it's near the end so that it's not me. But at the same time, this is the shuriken we're talking about. It's not always easy getting a quick shuriken kill, except that I have one! Alright, Tark, you're up. It's my turn. Oh, what? My bad. I, for some reason, thought I was after, uh, after Tark. So Steel Wolf, you can do that. Oh no, now Knight's done. Yeah, we're... Knight's done, really? Well, I think... Well, yeah, uh, so Steel, Steel Wolf... Wolf's done, so Steel Knight's Wolf did done. it, and then Knight got it, like, immediately afterward. Might, Knight... Knight might have, uh... Got a bit of a head start, but... All right, let's we'll count it. Sure. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. I could just leave out. <laughs> well, if I get a kill... Then you're stuck with the shuriken, and you automatically you lose. Know? You gotta the arc. No, I have to send it. Okay, sorry. Okay. No, I wanted that. I wanted that kill so badly. Oh, that's that's not, not a recipe for success. No! 10 seconds! No! I'm not doing any damage! I'm shooting it, but it's not registering any damage! What the heck? You're, you're, uh, it's not registering! <laughs> I lose! Oh, this no. You and your shuriken will stay here forever. You know what? 
You got your shuriken kill. Oh, that's that. true. Technically, I got a shuriken kill in the last second. That is true. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> I don't that. think so. <laughs> I, I think that means that uh, that I am the loser there, and probably fitting because I certainly spent the longest amount of time with the shuriken over the course of that match. Uh, something I've been in your chat, by the way. I think Nightbot has taken care of it, so I think we're good. I gotcha. All right, but that was a uh, hot potato. That challenge right there, passing the shuriken off between people, and uh, as we were starting to say, and starting to see, there are certainly some ways to to set yourself up for a little bit, or a little bit more, or a little bit less success with that. It is uh, an interesting challenge. So, uh, what do we think? What would we like to do for the next one? Do we have anything in particular we're looking for, or do we just want to go with whatever? Oh, there actually I do is. Have something oh, okay. Similar in mind. Okay. What do you think about scimitar? It is a weapon that exists. It is a weapon that you could do the same way, or we could do all scimitar. We could do all scimitar. And okay. All scimitar and nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing no powers else. or anything. Well, you can use power to upgrade your challenge and do some uh, slasher if you want to. <laughs> but no, I mean, just no secondary weapon, just scimitar. Okay, so you can still use powers, but when it comes to yeah. weapons, it has to be the scimitar. Scimitar. And only the yeah. scimitar. Okay, gotcha. And, and sun destroyer with the scimitar. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's actually... I mean, if ever there was a character who could turn a shit weapon into a half-decent weapon, it would be him. And there are a few. Or, or the GI. GI, of course. The Any of the Marksman characters, a Turian soldier, Quarian Marksman. Oh, I got a perfect one. It's called a Human Soldier. Yeah. That works, too. What if I take a slightly different approach? Gotta figure out what the best way to do it would be. I think I would go. Who are the infiltrators with the uh, shotgun evolution? Is it just uh, AIU? Oh, AIU only. Uh. <laughs> What's up, messenger? How's it, it going? It's not a bonus uh, shotgun weapon. It's it's reduction of weight on the weapon. Well, yeah, what I'm thinking of going with is maybe you. Okay. Yeah, I think no I'm gonna take you. On, on equipment or not, right? No, I think everything else is up to you. I'll go with the shaman. Then. Well, it's not my stream, so I'm not putting any restriction. I'm just giving fun. All right, all right. No, that works. Where are my combined shotgun and biotic damage equipment, eh, game? Oh, my part is going to be only adrenaline and uh, concussive shot. I love where is this going tonight. Drill around adrenaline. And oh, adrenaline. wait. I need to see what other people are, are going with in just a second. I mean, you could also take a, a melee character and just throw a 
Omni Blade on it, and that basically is just a light Omni Blade. So it actually did, works did, well for that. Did someone, did someone summon Slasher right now? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we probably just did. And just a moment, the did someone talk about me? <laughs> a wild slasher appeared. Something about me? <laughs> yeah. Let's do... I think I'm, gonna... Go. I'm gonna do this. Okay, My drone is still e Easter themed from uh, some challenge we did way back. Oh! Wait. We did do an Easter themed challenge for this Easter, but I don't remember what, if anything, we did in previous years. No, this is from before that. Okay. It does look very Eastery, I will say. Okay. Well, let's see. So if Knight is going AIU, Shotgun Amp, Shock Trooper, Drill Rounds. So it looks like he's trying to go with scimitar damage. Steel Wolf with some melee and scimitar -y stuff. Okay, and obviously oh. with Adrenaline okay, Rush. Don't mind, well. don't mind my uh, boost of uh, melee damage. It's just because it give me a better life damage when I do my uh, life, my damage reduction when I do an even melee. Okay, then scimitar, per, pure scimitar stuff on the the shaman for Tark and obviously biotic powers. Whereas I'm I'm going for the the fire priming with the scimitar because the scimitar is, if I remember correctly, actually pretty good when it comes to priming. Oh, true, true. Slasher's not going to show up because this isn't the katana. If it were the katana, we absolutely would have just summoned him. No, if it's a Matar, we're talking about something in Red Lightning. Yeah, that might be. We might see Red instead. Well, it's really early for in Red Lightning, maybe like uh, four in the morning or three. Uh, Again. well, <laughs> Lynn, look, look what it is. <laughs> now now it's even more interesting. Next to the entrance to the reactor. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I need to see your your Easter setup. Okay. It's the watermelon. It's, it's a little bad. water. It's like rotten watermelon, though, in that case. Uh, Liz, you yep. have to be just your lobby after that. I can't get cover. What's that? I can't get a cover. Oh, okay. We'll reset it after this one. Oh, when Knight is stuck on the loading screen. Uh oh. Okay. We. Yeah. We might just want to restart this one. Yep. If Steel Wolf is having trouble and Knight can't even load in at all, might make sense for us to just reload it all together. So, you know, there's only one way to do this. You have to quit. I'm just letting it kill me. I want a day bomb! I want a day bomb! Come on! I got, I oh, got I it. Hear, I hear a grenade. There it is. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that! That is a perfect oh. shot of the reactor. Hold my hand, Tark. Amazing frame. No. I've fallen and I can't get up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that one. Alright. Let's remake the lobby. My disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> and my day is ruined. <laughs> Yeah, okay, Knight just dropped all together. Okay, but let's let's make a new lobby. Knight, you might need to res I mean you might have just crashed. But if you didn't, you might need to restart the game. Oh true, in that weapon you can go with the heavy barrel, that's true. Okay, let's uh let's remake the lobby. Oh no hazard reactor. I'm, well, come on. <laughs> I'm not going to let us take a random arena after we got a a reactor hazard there. I'm locking it in for the next one. You don't have to worry about that. Don't have to lock in the collectors, though. Feel free to do <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that, that part, you know, maybe we'll leave that up to chance. Okay, so I should have sent a couple of invites there, but I think... I think Steel Wolf will probably still need to go with the public lobby Condor Collector Platinum search for you. Ready? 
Okay, I'm gonna make it public now. There we go. Okay, nice. Let's lock in the reactor hazard. Okay. Reset this stuff. Do that. And then... Yeah, technically... Rather than that, we can do... Oh, you can't combine it with... The, okay. Uh, what are we going to want instead? Probably smart choke? Can we do this? Yes. Probably go for that. Okay. So I think I'm set and ready to go now, whenever you guys are. We get this time. Reapers. Okay. Same map, three times in a row. Okay, well, this one was not a coincidence. The previous one was. But I couldn't turn down an opportunity of actually getting reactor hazard. That is nice. I do like that. That actually works. No! <laughs> don't worry, you don't need to be concerned about people stealing your shuriken kills. No, that was my grab. Okay, but that is important. Uh, I love that song. Hold on. Hold on. Don't you dare grenade me, bro. Oh, that grenade is on that side of the cover. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah, granted, it would be helpful if those explosions dealt a little more damage. But we are able to get them pretty consistently. No, I know there's a grenade there. I'd like to move away from it. No, stay right there. No, come back. Come back. Come on. No, stop doing that. Behave. Okay, or you can hang out next to that one, but choose. What? No! <laughs> I needed I to do it, it more proactively. My I should have anticipated nervous more. system is hardwired to the sound of her voice. As soon as I was really good at this. Oh, 
For what it's worth, the first one was not me. Got it. not go according to plan. Uh oh. <laughs> the staircase might be cursed. Yeah, I forgot to respect my shaman and respect the boat that I'm for. No explosions for me. Oh. Yeah, nobody's gonna eat your body today. That raptor is ignoring me. For the moment. Also, why are you no prime? Now the ravagers are paying attention. I spoke too soon. Is that my shoulder or my head? My shoulder is. Oh gosh. And that's a new 101 with this bits. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll see the uh what's it called? The uh Krogan amputating arms. <laughs> Tark goes down. I may not be able to set up my own experience, but I'm setting up quite a few other ones. <laughs> well, that's something. Seeing a lot of uh, tech bursts, a lot of uh, explosions. Setting off fire explosions, but uh, they aren't really doing anything. <laughs> yeah, if they're from your ammo extract one. Yeah. Which is bullshit, if you ask me, but okay. Yeah, and it's interesting because in Andromeda, that is not the case for uh, combos, so ammo is very much the best way, or at least certainly the most consistent way, to prime for combos. It's a very noticeable difference. Yeah, I also like, like to cool. acknowledge that reactor was not me. Ah, I don't know what it was. Saying it's it's not like it's always me. Oh, my leg explosion! I can die now. So much ammo to kill an enemy. I can use a little more of it, apparently. Certainly hearing a lot of shuriken sound effects. It's not something I'm particularly used to hearing. Aww. Just a little overload. An armor oh. bench. Four score and seven years ago when I started shooting this banshee. <laughs> no shit out. Yeah, and the... When we're talking about you know, trying to hit, like, banshees for significant damage, then obviously they have a lot of health to begin with. One thing, if it's just a little marauder like that. 
those man beasts do take a little more firepower. <laughs> Why is it always me? <laughs> Insert Mario Balotelli here. Oh, wow. Oh. That was close. Please leave me alone, Ravagers. Oh. Um, alright. I guess I'll get you. If these Ravagers don't do that. Are all you guys uh, infiltrators? Uh, I am not. As soon as I'm in range, they all start to fire. <laughs> Steel, are you an infiltrator? But you're a soldier, right? I think it's only night. Oh, I may have forgotten that we still had the objective. Come here. Come here. Ah. Yes. Why are you no combo? There's a lot of stuff over here. Oh. oh, wait. No, come back. Come back. There we go. You try to role play in that dynamic. Let's. What's that? Did you try to cast the Titan as I heard? Come back! <laughs> Come back! Uh, I was just a uh, husk running away from a grab. Oh, well, that guy's hiding in the corner. Also, there's definitely a Banshee. There absolutely is a Banshee right here. The one button to rule the ball. And in the darkness, find them. Yeah, of course, I want to hug the wall when I have two blue lasers pointing at me. Time to go. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, you didn't. You should. How dare you steal my grab? Now this is personal. I'm getting absolutely sniped from the entire length of the map by you. And maybe you. Oh, and the oh. enemy right next to me. Probably. No, don't touch it! It was innocent. It did nothing wrong. Work. Now these swarmers on the other hand. These swarmers on the other hand. Oh, hold on. There's too many of them for one missile to handle. There we go. That was a pretty sweet backflip. As backflips go, that was a good one. I would appreciate if you guys stopped dodging out of the way of those Banshee projectiles and made them go straight at me. Oh 
I got a swarmer. Yeah, it's too old. It's not safe here. Uh, I just think we'll need to that swarmer. Hey, Benji. When you use Overload on an armored enemy and you are not setting off a combo, it just sounds so pathetic. It's a little bit. <laughs> Stop dodging those warps. They keep going straight at me. I mean, technically, I have really good synergies with Knight. I could just hang out next to you the entire time and chain overload all of your stuff, but I'm trying to focus more on priming myself with the Scimitar. That'd be the easy way. Let's turn this into a snap freeze fest. I can't let you do that, Steve. Mm -hmm. Oh. And you thought we were kidding about Swarmers being the strongest enemy. enemy Knight was taken down by a Swarmer. Say no more. It's true. It's true. Also, say there was an opportunity there. Leave it at that. Still was an opportunity. Coming back. Oh, you need to break the bats. Okay, that must be what's doing it sometimes. Gotta break the barrier. Next, yeah, I was thinking of it mostly from the standpoint of how many shots am I firing. Before it, it seems to. Oh, prime. I got you. Sometimes it's as little as one, although that doesn't always work, probably depending on how many pellets actually hit. But two seem to pretty consistently do it, as long as they didn't have barriers. But how did that happen? I honestly don't know how we got 50 kills. Well, uh, I don't, I don't. By pressing left click. Uh, I mean, haven't had the best success with that approach. Okay, so you use right hand. Like that was two shots, but didn't prime. standing right next to us that entire time. Patiently waiting for us to pay attention to us. It seems that when she's primed for a cryo explosion, even though she's in her immunity phase, Shockwave still triggers the explosion. Uh, if you manage to prime her, yes, you can detonate stuff on her. Yeah, because... Uh, it's not uh, a lot. Yeah. Of stuff. If you did primer before, uh, yes, you should be able to detonate it. No, I'm guessing knife is uh, primer. Uh, if it's cryo, then yeah. Okay. Yeah, because with snipe breeze, you can uh, prime them. Yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. So as long as you can primer with the. Uh, yeah, you can detonate uh, stuff. Why do you think this is a Cryo explosion. Cryo explosion will not work. That's a good question. Over, it's, maximum it's chain overload plus uh, snap freeze is an insane combo. Got it. Nice. 
leave out there from Arkham 4 World War? This is ample. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I thought she jumped on your head. What were you gonna do next? Sorry. Uh, I punched her in the face <laughs> once. <laughs> no, actually twice. Twice. Just through the cover. Backflips OP confirmed. Come on, punch the banshee, what's the worst thing that could happen? Oh. I did? Enemy is still active. Stay alert. Get to the LC. Shuttle inbound. Oh, okay. Apparently not. Oh, thanks, uh, Tark just hit me. No worry. I don't know what I did, but you're welcome. Yeah, I was about to get picked. Oh. You're a shockwave, and, um... Uh... Oh, behind us! Ooh, okay, hello. Yeah, I need to start. Yes. Yeah. Probably shouldn't be hanging out this whole massive room. Just looking through the eyes, like, I'm gonna get you. Again, I don't know why all the all the bandages are coming to me, all the blue lasers are at me. I don't know why this is up. Oh, did you repair matrix that? You did not. Okay. It's not a more bad. It's almost okay. Well, almost spoke too soon. Yeah, just clear. Yeah, it's Oh, um, uh. That was close. Hey. All right. So that was all scimitars, and we we took sort of different approaches there. Some of us were going for the pure scimitar damage and in different ways, and some of us were using it for priming. My name is Tark, but you can call me Simitark. <laughs> that's that's, that's oh so bad. Oh, quote that! Somebody clip it! We have, we have to bring that back. We have to bring that back. Oh, the shame of visiting the board my ancestors. I hold on. I now require you to rename that character. Simitark. Well, your program shaman. The scimitar again, though. <laughs> I don't care. Every time you take that character, you must be reminded of that pun. Oh, you know, I could just say yes and never show you. Oh no, you know, you, you no have to. Knowing. You have to. We'll know. We'll know. All right, well, let us know if there's anything we'd like to do for the next one.
They're actually... Uh, oh. Add to your kit, by the way. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna send you... Because I know I can't bust in your chat. I'm gonna send you in DM. You might be able to, because it's Twitch. I think it might. might okay, I'll try. I'll try. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Let's oh, see. God. It did work. See? We will immortalize this moment, Tark. My name is Tark, but you can call me Simi Tark. Oh, God. <laughs> that's, that's, that's oh, perfect. Oh, that. Somebody clip it. We have, we have to bring that back. Okay. We have perfect. to bring that back. Well, th well done. Thank you, Steve Wolf. Oh. <laughs> we will make sure that Tark never forgets that moment. Never. Never. <laughs> If you get a million hits on YouTube, though, I demand some ad revenue. <laughs> I'll send it your way, except not in. Uh, I'll have to convert it first. I'm afraid. You uh, know what? Well, with different it's, currencies, it's, different countries, uh, I'm just gonna have to send it to you in uh, exclusively 3D Bitcoin? scimitar models. All right. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, for a moment, talk. Are you you taking through your stream? Sorry, what? For a moment, I was earring double every time. Oh, okay. But I just realized it wasn't my side, so I was like, you <laughs> oh. looking and your stream at the same time. It's like, oh, what is this? Echo? Yeah. <laughs> I do actually have a challenge that I think we have... I'm not sure if we've done it before. It's one of the ones that last week we were considering doing it's been on the list for a long time i never checked it off i've always just sort of brushed past it and i think i assumed that we had done it already or that we for whatever reason decided eh, no thanks and just never got around to it but technically speaking it might currently be the only one on the list that i have not checked off it is called no breaks Meaning, when you are, as soon as we start the match, you must be moving the entire time. At no point in time are you allowed to stand still. Which sounds pretty straightforward, although there are probably some situations, um, namely <laughs> objectives, like uh, uploads. Bring where, around the Rosie? I'm not exactly sure how yeah. we would do that. Yeah, I have to run. Um, someone is waiting for me um, on another game tonight at 9. Uh, no worries. Thanks for stopping by, Steel Wolf. Good to see ya. What is pleasure. Bye. GG's. So yeah, we could try no breaks. Admittedly, I'm not sure how we would do the uh, the uploads. I guess maybe we just make an exception for that. But otherwise, you have to constantly be moving. Not sure it's that difficult. It might be kind of straightforward. Oh, also, I, the lobby was still public. Oops. Hello, Pug. Hello, Pug. Krogan soldier with the Spitfire. <laughs> All oh. Right. All right. Well, he's then. not going to have a problem always moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I think... Maybe I'll do this. Speaking of characters that always want to be moving. So any other restrictions apart from uh, that's moving? that's it at least of the things I can think of I mean if we feel as though that's too straightforward and there are other ways we can spice it up a little bit more I'm open to it because as I said I feel like there's a chance this one might just be too simple uh, could make it interesting and do something like glacier I guess Although I, I don't think really it makes it more difficult.
What are ways we could spice it up a bit? It's we like, do... are, there are no powers when you use them, you stop, right? Because even when you like cast Shockwave or something, you just go down to walking speed. There might be some, like a uh, supply oh, pylon. Turret. Yeah, supply pylon. Yeah. That's at least one power that comes to mind. I mean, even the biotic sphere, you, you can still move during that. So it's, it just feels like it might not really be that restrictive. Well, so. it's going to be times when you sort of would benefit from... But I'm, I mean, you could just jerk sort of back and forth, I guess, if you want to quote-unquote stand still. Yeah, I mean, technically it does mean no cover. So, you know, that's maybe the hardest part. Anything else where you forced to stand still I mean if there is it's such a small number of skills that it is not a particularly big factor the supply pile on there at the moment that's the only one I can think of of the various things I've moused over Still move for those. That might actually be the only skill that requires you to stand still. Which one? The, the pylon? supply pylon. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm yeah. going over every single character right now, and I'm not seeing anything else. Unless there's a vanguard that has a skill, it's the one that I haven't gone through yet. But I would kind of be doubtful. Of that being the case. Can you move while you do phase disruptor? Uh, yes. Then I think... Oh, that's an interesting point. Can we revive teammates? Because technically, to revive a teammate, you would need to stand still. That would certainly oh, make it more interesting also huh. what do we do on uh, objectives I think for the only one where it's an issue is when you have the devices Yeah. right anything else pizza you're fine hack you're fine targets you're fine escort you're fine I think it's just the devices or the you know yeah devices so I guess we just make an exception for that. Otherwise, I think the, the question becomes, yeah, do we ban reviving teammates? I guess we kind of have to if we're not I, allowed to move. Yeah. I mean, because it, I mean, it does feel like it's still a little too, at least to me, feels like it's a little too easy unless we add a little bit more of an extra layer to it. So I, I kind of like the no reviving part. Now, obviously, we at the moment do have a random pug who might bail us out in that regard. But hey, I mean, if we're relying on a pug to revive us, then that's its own kind of challenge. So maybe that's okay. Oh, are there any... Weapons that now. There's no weapon that requires you to stand still. Although, if you're taking a sniper, for example, you might want to stand still a bit. So maybe take a sniper at your own risk. simple take this apparently I've never taken this on the fury before surprises me a bit
think I'll go with the Krogan Sentinel, I think. He usually just runs Sentinel. around and uh, spams the Venom shotgun. Are you uh, spamming the lift grenades? I am spamming the lift grenades. Okay, so I mean, you'll definitely be running around from ammo box to ammo box then. Oh, definitely. So yeah, that makes sense. Let's go. I went SMG. And we'll do... Should we take it? Should we take Adrenaline just to tempt fate a little bit? Not have Cyclonics? And therefore, run the risk that we might go down. I mean, we're a fury. It's like, we're gonna go down every once in a while, if not more than that. Stop talking, silly. <laughs> Adrenaline, oh, let's if, do it. Uh, let me grab some equipment real quick. Oh, why are we on Ghost? I did not intend to do that. I mean, unless we had a specific map that we thought would be most fitting. Oh, hold on. Before I go, we have the N7 Fury, two N7 Furies. Oh! And a Krogan soldier who uses Inferno Grenades. Uh, fine, fine. Are you submitting to peer pressure? No, I was just wondering if grenades were going to be an issue. Oh, okay. But yeah, you do have the random pug who's a Krogan soldier, so you're technically yeah. competing with him, but he is using a Spitfire, so he is going to be a bit of a slowpoke. I do have my thermal clip packs. That's true. Okay, did we have an arena preference, or do we just want to go unknown unknown? That, I think that's fine, unless there is something in particular we have in mind. So yeah, I think we're good to go here, or at least I am, if you guys are ready. So no breaks. We cannot stop moving ever during this match. Hopefully the pug does ready up. So that means no cover and no reviving teammates, notably. The one exception we're making is for devices objectives. I mean, unless, <laughs> unless we want to rely exclusively on the pug to do that for us, but... I'm not sure he's going to get the message. Okay. So can't stop, won't stop. I guess you could also name this challenge that as well. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh, okay. Also, I guess you can't check the scores. Slash the enemy. In fact, I didn't even see what the enemy was because as soon as I pressed the pause button, I realized that uh, that froze me in place. Okay, but it is collectors in case that was not... Obvious. No, don't beat me. Oh, that, I thought you did, but apparently you didn't. That works, as it turns out. Can't stop, won't stop, no breaks. Oh, nice. Oh, the quick where one. <laughs> well, hopefully everything is quick, given what we're trying to do here. The difference between running and walking on the Krogan is so big that it feels like I'm stopping when I start breaking. Oh, that almost got very interesting. Oh, I am dead. No, wait, wait, is this the pug? Okay, it was the pug. I picked a great place to go down. <laughs> pug, hold on, the pug is here to save the day after all. Hey. They're doing what we could not, quite literally. Oh, this guy's in sync kill mode? Perfect. I mean, what? Who said that? I didn't say that. Why would I say that? Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. I do have a ranged attack. For possessed abominations. If I remember to use it, that is. Okay, so still moving on this one. I might have switched it. 
not sure. It's not often I see the lift grenade actually lift someone. It is amazing what it does, though. You get some pretty sweet physics. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sir. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Target out of play. Nice job. One team member is hurt. Uh, we'll see if the bug is there to save you, Tark, because I cannot do that. I did ask for it. At least it's the end of the wave-ish. But oh, that's Tark. No, don't do it, Tark. <laughs> you ran up to me as well, and I was like, is that... It's a Krogan. Is it the Pug, or is it Tark? No, it's dancing on your post. Oh, okay. I understand. Were you the, uh, white flame who dances on the flames of his en graves of his enemy? It's not often I run past the enemies, then while reversing away from them, use throw to detonate while I'm playing the Fury. Where did they go? Just like, okay, run past, and then reverse. It's actually kind of fun. Taking a U-turn sort of feels like cheating, but I believe you stop for like a split second. Oh, that's a grenade. Oh, that was getting possessed as I was detonating it, wasn't it? Must get rid of the webs, apparently. Um, okay. Goodbye, Praetorian. I'm sorry, Knight. I cannot get you. Hug is there though, I think. Where's that tar? That's both of them. Okay. <laughs> Pug must be wondering what the hell we're doing. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think he's caught on yet? <laughs> <to win laughs> <out through our. laughs> Do you think he can tell? <laughs> oh. Outstanding work. This is why he's never skipped lately. True. I do wonder sometimes. It doesn't happen that often. But uh, we do sometimes, of course, do these weird challenge matches when we also have a pug in the lobby. So uh, I do wonder when that happens, what the pug thinks of it. Or if they catch on in the first place, that we are up to some strange nonsense. Yeah. Fast for the fights, apparently. For pizza. Uh oh, I've been beat. Just do a quick loop. Quick lap around the map, you know. Oh, 
quite a part of her. That works. Stay alert. Enemy is regrouping. Enemies approaching. Engaging. One moment. They're always in kill mode. That's fine. We'll take care of them. Ow. Where right, this one's definitely gonna kill me. Oh. Oh, I stopped for a second there, just working out the the fingers for oh, pressing the right key. You are already well. approach and it kind of works avoiding the well no not allowed to do that in my defense <laughs> the game forced me into it it's not intended you're able to get the grenades consistently yeah I feel like I'm constantly choking on the oh, Don't do that. Are we, uh, I forget, is, how is Jade from a grenade supply standpoint? Is it one of the better grenade maps? Uh, I'm getting the sense they reach up fairly quickly also to get to the rig of the tree. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, no grabs either. Right, right. Oh. Alright, when I said no cover allowed, I wasn't really thinking about the, oh, you can't get the defensive advantages of cover. I was thinking, well, that means no grabs. You can't go into cover and keep moving, can you? Or do uh, you stop? I don't know. I feel like that's... Well, I, I was still moving. Don't say I was. <laughs> uh oh. I got stuck in a web, but <laughs> uh -oh. I still move slightly. <laughs> Did not think of that. Back around for the next time. Oh, I'm dead. Pug, save me! Oh. Uh-oh. Is that the pug? It is the, I think it's the pug. It better not be dark. Okay, good. Oh, I'm about to go down again. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, you and the pug look really similar, Tark. Oh, there he is. Ooh, that was close. Because, I mean, he's, the, what, the soldier and you're the sentinel? So you're not even the same character. But I think the color scheme on his yeah. soldier is <laughs> looks just like tech armor. And is also just generally extremely similar to what you have. Now. Yeah, someone's setting off my fire explosions. It's nice. Well, we've got lots of throw users. Okay. 
Holy this stuff. guy. <laughs> Oh, my two trouble. Oh, it's uh oh. The escort is a good mission when we have to keep moving. So is that one. Hey guys. I was totally here the whole time. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Pug! Save us! Oh, you bugged out. I'm still alive. No! I mean, I, I suppose technically we can use gels, which I, admittedly I did not really think of. Well, at least wasn't thinking of when I was down there, so uh, I did bleed out. But uh, I guess I didn't need to. <laughs> In hindsight, well, I, 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 I got grabbed and then I was killed before he was uh, finished him killing me, and then I was suddenly alive. Oh, was it uh, Scion or Praetorian? Praetorian. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. Wait, someone's down now. It's you. Oh, it's the pug. Oh, so Knight got either stomped or sinked. I didn't see how it happened. I bled out. <laughs> Perhaps unnecessarily. Oh, careful, Tark. <laughs> careful, Tark. No. All right, the pug is right there. But look at this, you're both right next to each other. You have basically the same exact color schemes. You're both Why? the small Krogan. Excuse me? But there's some Krogan that are bigger than others. Like obviously the um, the Warlord is the biggest. But the, uh, the Vanguard and the Shaman have the same, are, are also sort of bigger than the soldier. Yes. That's the star. And the uh, sentinels, the other small ones. Okay. Oh, you, uh, I'm afraid you did have a Praetorian behind you, as it turns out. Well, I feared. But don't worry, he has a Spitfire. Enemy forces down to one. Oh, that was good. A lot of enemies right there. Thank you, Knight. <laughs> I was about to run straight into that. Oh, that's that's a possessed 
abomination is with that insane. I That's almost ran out of room to avoid it. That's not what I wanted. I guess that works. Uh oh. Uh oh. Up back. Save me. I thought the bug was gonna hit sink kill. I was gonna say there's no way to revive you then. Okay, 20 seconds though. You know, I had a lot of time left. Get the asshole. Remember though, have to keep moving. And stand still. Oh, oh, those grenades! No, no! Wait, we can jump. We can jump. It's okay. We can jump. It's allowed. That's allowed. <laughs> I got rocketed by some grenades into a flying praetorium. Oh, wow. Luckily, I had my <laughs> grenade launcher <laughs> out. No, Knight! I think Knight was the other one who went down with a, only a couple seconds left with me. Yeah. But still, 19 minutes is... That's pretty quick for Jade. I mean, you'll see that on uh, Glacier, but... That's what happens when you keep running. Yeah, turns out things go faster. All right, well, let us know if there's anything you'd like us to do for the next one. We do have a random pug in at the moment. I don't know if they're going to stick around or what, but it, I suppose if we had a fourth person who really wanted to get in, we could potentially look to reset the lobby and clear up this spot. But yeah, that was no breaks. So we went with uh, no movement the entire time, and that also meant no cover, although there are certainly times when just running toward cover will automatically put you in cover. That happened to me a few times, but no revives, at least no reviving teammates, which did become a factor on a few occasions. Our uh, pugs are on this metal. Or I assume he got his metal for revives <laughs> had to have least gotten the bronze all right i'm not seeing any requests from chat at the moment so as of right now this one is up to us unless there's something in particular you guys have in mind Oh god, I just, you ran, you mentioned the uh, boost only or jetpack only. I remember with the buttons. <laughs> oh, that was so fancy. It sounds simple, but it's one of those ones that until you actually try it yourself, it is very easy to underestimate it. Yeah. That's one that I think if we had a random fourth person in, they would notice. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> they would notice. Especially if they go down and they bleed out and they're just spectating three other people who will exclusively use their jetpacks. I'm noticing a certain lack of bipedal bipedular <laughs> movement. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, if if you guys are up for that, we can give it a shot. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, so up if, to you. If you're... How about if you're using the Havoc, are you allowed to Havoc Strike? Yeah, I think if you're Havoc. that's a power, I mean... Yeah, no, that counts. Yeah. That counts as Jetpack. Or if you're... Well, there are no Turian Vanguard things. That oh, is the Turian the, Vanguard. Uh, well, I mean, there is. The cabal. There is the Cabal, but she doesn't have a Jetpack. She has kind of unique the movements. Poison Strike. Yeah. But, I mean, the, the Havoc is the actual sort of Turian 
Vanguard. Yeah, I guess. Missing the very important property of re restoring your shields. Yeah, who knew? Well, that's what Stimpak is for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have vanguards at home. Don't worry, Tark. So yeah, if you guys are up for that, we can give it a go. The idea is simple. Jetpacks only. You are not allowed to walk. You are not allowed to run. All of your movement has to come via jetpack, or in the case of the Havoc Trooper, you can use Havoc Strike. But uh, mm -hmm. it, it gets complicated. I never played the Havoc. I'll give him a shot. Okay. So yeah, if we're talking jetpack only, then that means there's what? Only three, ex three characters who are uh, eligible? So you have Turian Havoc, you have the Turian Sab, and then the Ghost has one as well. The Saboteur has the jetpack? Uh, Maybe. I think he does, doesn't he? Okay. I've never played. It's like yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm... Yep, I am with you on that. So I'm not about to take him, but if anyone else is inclined, he is technically an option. I might yeah. go Havoc Strike with you. I think it's just that sabotage is so such an under uh, underwhelming ability, and homing grenades are. Eh. Uh, yes, but then bump that up, and multiply it by you know a factor of a hundred. Yeah, and sentry turret is I find it useless at least. Yeah, I mean, as you know, I am not much of a beach ball user, so when <laughs> I play that character, it's basically just. Spamming the sabotage, which, as you said, is not very rewarding of a skill, or at least doesn't feel very dramatic. And then you have the sentry turret, or whatever it's called. So it basically just turns into throw out the turret, chill <laughs> out, sitting behind cover, and uh, maybe occasionally shoot some stuff, but just very boring playstyle to me. Uh, at least the uh, sabotage skill primes for attack first on all the enemies that it doesn't hack, which is so weird. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> exactly what you're looking for. So like when you find something that actually can be hacked, you don't want it to be hacked because then it's not primed. I think I'm good to go. I'm gonna run to the buffer real quick. Okay, no worries. I need to spec this guy anyway. Uh, do I even want the passives? Uh, mm, I might not. Eh, I'm not sure I'm gonna be using Cryoblast all that much. I guess it's okay. Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna want the power damage. So that works. Do that. Yeah, so Knight... The thing is, Turian Ghost may be your main. And that's good. That'll help. But remember... No walking, no running, only jetpacking. So that certainly does complicate things a bit. Let's see. How aggressive do we want to be with the stim packs? Offense versus defense. Definitely want this. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's easy to underestimate this one. I've messed around doing exclusively jetpacks on several occasions, so I'm a little bit used to it, but I know last time we tried this, there are some people who were quite surprised with how challenging this can be. So, I, I mean, it depends. I guess it depends for each person. Maybe we go defensive there. Uh, I feel like we need duration on it for this guy, because it's kind of hard to time it. And I guess we can do this. What's Knight going with? Uh, GI? TGI? Yeah, Knight was saying TGI is his main. So I'm curious to see what Knight thinks when we are done with this challenge. 
<laughs> does, that, does that make him feel better about this challenge or worse about this challenge? Is he going to be comfortable because he plays this character a lot, or is he going to feel like this absolutely ruined one of his favorite characters? Because I feel like it could definitely go either way. Yeah, get ready to master the concept of macro movement. <laughs> Oh, wait, Ready? I forgot I don't have any Strength Enhancers. Wait, I have one Strength Enhancer 3. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, you're going with the melee build. Of course I'm going with the melee build. It's Turian so, Hell. So, so that's uh, using the... Okay, so they have the perk with the Steel Krogan Soldier. Okay. Drill rounds on the Spitfire. Oh, that'll be and, interesting. <laughs> and the Strength Enhancer with the melee attachment. So on a Spit... Okay, you know what? All the, the more power to... I build. Yep. <laughs> hey man, don't knock it until you try it. I guess. I mean, he has the mods in the correct order, so I I can't I can't criticize it. Um. Uh. Speaking of which, you see nothing. You see oh, nothing. I see a, I see a uh, see a, pistol stunner mm, before mm, a mm, power you, you don't. You don't see. <laughs> you don't see anything. I just want to. Pops on the scorpion, though. I don't see people using it enough. I don't use it enough. Myself. I personally do not like it very much. So. Mm. It, it is a weird weapon, I'll grant you. It does have the advantage of priming everything instantly. Yeah, maybe that is still reason enough to take it. I feel like part of the problem is precision might be... A, I mean, you in this case, you are allowed to stand still. Unlike in the previous challenge, if you are not moving, well, you can just choose to not move, and then the whole jetpack only thing is not really a factor. So... You could stand still and shoot and still have reasonable accuracy, but running and shooting simultaneously, good luck. That's not easy. Also, on smaller enemies, car blast is a nice tool to make them not move. True. True. Even the shielded ones sort of stagger in place in music. Okay. Except the bloody phantoms, because Ugh. of course. All right. I think I'm good whenever you guys are, unless there is a specific map or enemy we'd like to lock in here. I feel like this one can change a lot depending on which map you have. Because I know at least <laughs> one time we had it on Hydra, which is obviously huge, but in some ways might even be a good thing because you have a lot of relatively straight line areas where you can just zip through with your jetpack. Then there was another time when I think we did it on Glacier, which is oh. the exact opposite. It is tiny and it is very cramped and it is very difficult to maneuver around corners precisely with the jetpack. Oh, oh we lost the bug. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, it is private. So, I mean, technically, we do have room for a fourth if anyone from chat would like to jump in here in our jetpack-only match. But yeah, so do we have a preference? We can, of course, just go on known unknown and cross our fingers that we get something good, but... We are allowed to take cover, uh, right? As long as we're close to the wall to begin with. You are allowed to take cover, I mean, assuming that you basically jetpack into the cover. Yeah, or if hitting space puts you into cover. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking if, if if we're on Rio and find ourselves in a bad situation oh, along gosh. the longest stretches, Rio <laughs> would be tough. really tough. Glacier getting would be out, really tough. Yeah, getting s f quickly out of dodge with the jetpack is gonna. Oh, the coordination or lack of. Yeah, I think Hydra is probably actually one of the better ones. Oddly enough. Condor is probably one of the better ones, at least for maneuverability, because there's not a lot of cover there. So you don't get stuck on many things. Yeah. Obviously, it's difficult for other reasons, but... Alright. So unless you guys have anything in particular in mind, I guess we'll go Unknown Unknown. I might make it public again. 
in case anyone does want to join us mid-match, or of course, there's a chance we get a pug, but uh, I also am kind of curious to, to see a pug come in here while we're in the middle of our jetpacking nonsense. Yeah. It's up to you. I think we roll with this. Of course, it might just end up being us three for the entire time, but what map do we get? And what enemy? Please not get our servers. Servers? Okay. That could be tough. Nope, hold on. Jetpack, please. Thank you. So yeah, I, I think... I was thinking this could potentially be one of the tougher maps. Depending on where you go in it. Okay, I need to remember what the epic strike stuff is. Okay, there we go. That's, that's how you... Oh, wait. Oh my god, the amount of finger uh, gymnastics that I need to do to go between jetpacking and doing the Havoc Strike melee combo trick is insane. This was a mistake. <laughs> this is actually insane. Also, it'd be helpful if I could turn oh. to face the enemy. Okay, uh, don't worry, Tark, I'm on my way. Okay. I keep forgetting I have the steam pack. One second. I'm working on it. I got you. I came as quickly as I could, and now the wave is over. Oh, we did get a random pug. Okay. Yeah. Unless this is someone from chat. I don't recognize the name, though. What's up, Macom? How's it going? Still working? Oh, no worries. We are, we're doing some Mass Effect 3 today. Not our usual day. We are doing it nonetheless, and it is a special challenge. We are only allowed... Oops, oh, I keep on pressing the console button. Um, we are only- oh, he says as he accidentally presses the console button again. It is right next to the Havoc Strike button, so that explains it. A little bit, at least. But we are only allowed to- uh, well, that was a grab that I just missed as I, for the third time in a row, accidentally pressed the con console button. Uh, we are only allowed to use jetpacks for movement. We cannot walk, we cannot run, we can only jetpack. And <laughs> that may sound simple, I assure you, it is not. Especially when it comes to pressing the right keys, because as I just demonstrated a minute ago, uh, it is very easy to press the wrong button repeatedly. Especially when you try to pull off a wonky combo um, like that, <laughs> that already requires some pretty silly uh, finger positioning. Like, not being able to do those sort of small adjustments, just hit the, uh, hit the doorway. <laughs> so oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's why uh, Glacier would have been horrible. Oh man. Reco wait, we're covering so, the object! What? What? Oh! We can, we, we, can right? we can do it! We can do it! We can do it! I believe. I think, I I think, think we I can think do it. Strike. Just give me enemies to charge. Wait, who is- is this Tark who has it right now? Who is this who has it right now? Yeah, it's me. That's you? Okay. If, 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 if I... Oh, wait, there's an enemy! No, I dropped it when I had it. Okay, wait, so what happens if I do this? Does it move at all? It moves! It does move! We have to do it. We have to do it. It moves ever so slightly. Oh, man. <laughs> this... this is... Oh, my God! Wait, I believe! I believe! Use the cover. Wait, use the cover? It's it's gonna take us the full four minutes. Make no mistake. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is this cheating? That's kind of cheating. I might have been using cover a little too much there. Look at how much progress we've made. Is it, whoa! What was that? <laughs> oh, you can you can do the heavy metal. Nice. Oh, okay. There, there's there's the secret. Though. That's absolutely the trick. That's absolutely true. Oh, what? Oh, it's the pug? 
I have no idea what the bug is doing. Are they coincidentally also a Turian with a jetpack? If so, that would be incredible. Where are they? That's nice. Oh. The pug killed the Atlas and I stole the kill. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually stuck, but there we go. There's a grenade. There's a grenade. There's a grenade. Let's grab. That's also a grab. In fact, it's two grabs. No. <laughs> So this this is basically a, a makeup a makeup stream because I'm not going to be available for our our usual Saturday Mass Effect 3 stream at least. I am available tomorrow for uh, Andromeda, but not on Saturday for Mass Effect 3, which is the uh, reason why we are streaming today in the first place. But well done, team, for uh, successfully <laughs> delivering the pizza with only our jetpacks because that was incredible. Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> so what you're saying is we succeeded. Yeah. Also, fun fact, there are phantoms this way. And also turrets. So, uh, things are about to get a lot more difficult. I want to see if Havoc Strike staggers the phantoms. Uh, I was just doing the Havoc Strike plus melee combo on them, and I think it was kind of working. Don't quote me on that. Where'd they go? Did anyone see what the pug is doing? Set of wise? Uh oh, wait, hold on. I'm relatively close. Oh, I can't pick up the nades. One second. I'm on my way. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, that works too, I guess. Oh, okay, I have two here. Okay, the atlases are going to be a bit of a problem. But maybe we just ignore them for a while. I mean, yeah, if we just shoot from cover... We can get by. Oh, there are phantoms too? I think I hear phantoms. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? You know what? <laughs> no! Where's the I'm fun not in sure that? I'm dealing with this. <laughs> oh, I just jetpacked off directly onto the ladder. Sweet. Oh, come on. I saw him. I knew he was there. <laughs> Love catching the uh, Havoc Strike out of the corner of my eye. I mean, honestly, the uh, heavy melee might be a little more controllable than the jetpack jump is. Just for the typical movement. Also, <laughs> the game is getting a little confused with our animations right now. This is way easier than what we just did. Also, what just happened? I'm on my way. Can we press the button is the next question. Oh, you got it. Okay, nice, nice. This is fast and super me, guys. Uh... Get into cover. Seeing Nemesis. Oh, no, dude! <laughs> we, we can't say, or at least, it's awfully difficult for us to save you. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there is a phantom. 
there is a phantom somewhere on the right. Yep, coming in on the right side, right flank, phantom. She did. I'm hit. She's gone. I think so. Sort of. Stop running! Out of effort it takes to kill one nemesis. Perfect. If only we could consistently lock onto our desired target. Let me quickly navigate to the ammo bags. Tell me, man. I think melee is the way to do it. Well, I don't know. Melee is definitely a little slower. It doesn't take you quite as far. It is a little more controlled, though. This doesn't sound good. I, I'm not sure I want to see what's around this corner. No turrets! Oh, uh -oh. Um, there is an atlas. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, we are so getting sick. It's okay, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Oh. Thank you. Oh, that's a turret. Carefully. I found the guy who made the turret. Where is oh, the turret? It's oh, it's the turret. Okay. You know where is back off? Catch you later. Give me grenades, Dad. <laughs> Did you steal my grenades? I, I think I just got some. I have zero grenades on my bed. Another over here, so there we go. Thanks. Did you even like the gun? Oh, that's. Speaking of grenades. Take fire! Purple lids. Oh. Ah, it's fine. Oh, that's not it. Oh, there's a phantom there as well. Ah, I see. Oh, come on. This is a double one. There's definitely something. Well, let me just spike. Oh, Tark's body. That's a phantom. And that's also a grenade. Is this phantom still here? Uh, it might be. There's certainly an atlas. No. Let's get the fan. Whoa! That was extremely confusing. But I guess we'll take it. No! 
Ah, uh, 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 uh. kicking in. Exactly the same spot as the first one. Thank you. That's the second atlas? Why does this keep on happening? I mean, a decent success rate in killing them. Famous last words, because these turrets are absolutely gonna kill me. Well, it's confirmed. You can have a strike in the middle of a door. Middle of a what? Middle of a dodge. Oh! I've been trying the entire match, but it's so <laughs> hard to lock on while dodging. While get back in. going straight to the objective. All right. I suppose that's karma. No shield uh -oh. oh, there's a turret right there. And a phantom right there. And another phantom right there. And an atlas. In other words, oh, all of the things. Uh, the pug... Oh, I really look like I got sink killed. Somewhere? It's down there. The pug is definitely about to get sink killed. I don't know how they escaped that alive. They also appear to have no interest in the objective. This is where the action is. This is what we signed up to see. Beautiful. Look at this leapfrog objective thing. It's a masterpiece. Uh, there's a turret up up the stairs inside. Right there. Oh, wait, they're incendiary beering? Gross. Oh, good shot. Wait, what weapon is that that you're using, Knight? Oh, uh oh. Well, <laughs> that's their karma for incendiary beering, I guess. Phantoms again in this corner. 
along with some atlases. Hello, Double Phantom. That is not what I meant to do. Oh dear. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> Just casually smack the Phantom straight in the face. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, Pug. Thank you for the, thank you for that, I guess. That was that was close. We have to live on the edge, though. We have to do it. Also, it would help if I actually got the timing correct. I guess that works. You're right, you definitely can have a strike mid-dodge. So you can yep. basically constantly be in the air, never touch the ground, which is pretty cool. Oh, okay, 30 seconds. Uh, Tark, I am not very close to you. I think we're gonna have to, given our mobility limitations, probably best if we make a run. Although I am tempted to have it strike that uh, Make a run for it! Seriously? Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Make a jetpack for it. <laughs> I was so close <laughs> my to apologies. just my way outside of the distraction <laughs> zone. Choosing the right squad to complement Shepard's strengths and weaknesses is key. Experiment with squad configurations. Something tells me this is not the squad con configuration that the developers had in mind. Yeah, it was uh, just about as annoying as I remember. <laughs> so, Knight, what did you think? Did that ruin one of your favorite characters, or was it totally fine because you're used to playing that guy? It was all right. All right. To be honest, the say the saboteur would be extra annoying because you don't have self and you don't have having strike. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you just hang out in cover and shoot people from there, then it doesn't make that big of a difference. If you just camp, which yeah, I guess you time. technically could do with any of the Turians that have jetpacks. Depending on the map, though, whenever you go in cover, something is going to come up behind you at some yeah. point. And getting out of dodge with just a jetpack is annoying. Yeah. Alright, well, let us know, guys, if there's anything you'd like for us to do for the next one. We do, once again, have a random pug taking up this spot, but maybe I'll proactively make it private in case they leave we can reserve that slot in case anyone else wants to get in how about four biotics inside a room hmm that sounds oddly familiar not quite the same as something else but I can't quite put my put my uh, finger on it or if you want to make it even more horrifying, you are not allowed to attack anything that's outside the room. Wait, this reminds so, me of... hold on. Something like four furies inside the reactor, for instance. Hold on, what was... let me find this one. This is kind of similar to something we did, which... I don't remember if you were here for it, Tark. Where was it? I know it's boom room adjacent, sure. No, it's that's what I was alluding to before, yes. But there's another one. A more recent edition. Where was it? Where was it? It was one that someone else proposed, not me. So did I never write it down? There. Is this? So it was similar to this. I 
can't remember what we actually named it now. Oh, maybe it was... Okay, wait. I'm writing it down then, because I don't think I actually have it here. I might be misnaming it. But, uh, something along the lines of Bubble Trouble. Which, <laughs> which was specifically Asari Justicar and you are only ever allowed to be in everyone's in Asari Justicar you are only ever allowed to be in a biotic sphere you can oh, never okay. move outside of biotic sphere technically okay. we went even crazier than that so if that doesn't feel like enough, we can go further. Granted, uh, it definitely would benefit a lot from having a full team that is in on it. Having even just one pug who is not in on it could make it tricky because that means one less just a car and one less biotic sphere to move around in because there is not a lot of moving around. Well, I mean, I mean, if you combine that with uh, having to stay in one place, then the problem takes care of itself. Then you're gonna prime anything that walks into the room. Well, that's that's where the other part came in. Okay. So if we were to repeat what we went with last time to spice it up even further, we went specifically on glacier. And what we did was, before we finished a wave, we had to complete an entire lap around the map. Oh, God. You could still attack enemies as you're in the middle of the wave, but of course, you have to finish the whole lap before the wave is over, so you can't get too aggressive with that stuff. So that meant that we had to pretty much always be actively moving and making progress around the map rather than just hanging out in one spot, dropping the biotic spheres and just camping that out. I so <laughs> so does that include the basement and the boom room? Uh, yes, basements. I don't think we did boom room. I think we okay. technically cut that corner. So basement, up the stairs, cross the big room to LZ, and then down again? Yeah, we went in the other direction, but yes. Yeah. So that's what we went for that time. I, I don't know if we're up for that, or at least that additional aspect where we also need to finish a lap. And that's where, as I was saying, I think, you know, having a random pug who is not in on it does maybe make that a little less meaningful who knows what they're gonna do they're certainly not gonna be hanging out exclusively in the biotic spheres yeah i mean we could make a new lobby if we really wanted to and do it that way and yeah it does sound like out. it sort of defeats the purpose if you have someone running around doing whatever so yeah i mean up to you guys if that sounds interesting we can go for it if we feel like we want to have it just be the three of us, or maybe we can get a fourth person in from chat. We could give it a shot. And that would either require that we kick this person or we branch off and start a new lobby. Could just remove him, I guess. Cool. Although it does feel a bit shady after doing a couple of matches with him. After he just put up with us doing jetpack nonsense in the previous match. Though if it's That's any true. consolation... They are using a Rieger, and they were specifically using oh. Rieger and Sandiri last time, so they don't have too much sympathy for them. They're using the Rieger and the Harrier. Like, how dead do you need things to be? <laughs> <laughs> True. True. Also, armor piercing on a Rieger is useless, isn't it? It does work. It actually does work. Really? It yeah, really counterintuitive, but it's actually it's actually a projectile weapon, isn't it? It's I mean what is it? Like eight? some sort of projectile projectile, I guess. I think it technically counts as just a normal bullet 
firing weapon and therefore it can pierce, which is really like counterintuitive. Like, it, yeah, I guess technically it can. Oh, wow. I don't think even the developers know how that weapon works. <laughs> it just spews annihilation and destruction. Yep. So what uh, do we think? No, I'm all for it. I think I'm good to go, actually. Oh, okay. I admittedly have not spec my... Although, should we remove this guy? Uh, I feel like we... One way or another, we probably should. Yeah, the Rieger can also headshot. It yeah. can do some... Some things that it definitely does not feel like it should be able to do. Headshot. Head torch. Yeah, head to Or head zap. Alright, so, I don't know, are we, I guess we're, we'll kick them. Oops. Oh, he got, he got the gist of it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I mean, technically we do have room for a fourth in that case, if anyone else from chat wants to jump in and participate in our bubble trouble challenge. I think it is probably best if we do get a fourth, if anyone would like to. Although, at least in this case, even if it's just the three of us, we no longer have someone running off doing their own thing, completely ignoring our whole spiel, our whole thing. Definitely not taking an ammo weapon. Yeah, that's wanna... a very good point. Imagine bubbling off just to grab some ammo. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll see you guys, boing boing. Um, you probably want to pick Radius on your Biotic Spear if you haven't. Uh, let's see what Just I so have. we have more room to move. To be to be fair, this one is like purely offensive. Like I use it to detonate or prime. I mean, that is yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I have radius. So okay. Shield regeneration is pretty useless. Let's see. Damage reduction, enemy weakness, uh, making warp. ease for either of them. Definitely, gonna, I think I am going to take the warp effect. You could make a case for going the defensive route here, since we're going to be spending a whole lot of time in that bubble. I, at least uh, maybe one should have uh, allied protection, although we're going to be swapping each other's bubbles right. all the time. So. Basically, it turns into this uh, like leapfrog sort of effect, where it's just one person bubbles and then the next person takes a few steps forward resets their bubble and we keep on going and going and inching forward is one thing we did when we did this last time was we were really picky about it and we said technically speaking when you activate your reactivate your biotic sphere your previous biotic sphere disappears for a split second so we said you aren't allowed for that to uh you aren't allowed to be outside of any bubbles when that happens. Which so, technically means you have to be a little careful when you're inching forward and you can't quite progress as quickly. Yeah. You need to make sure you're always in someone else's bubble before you reactivate your own. So this is kind of like a game of, uh, what would you call it in the US? Uh, where you sort of uh, go in ring around two people. And ring around the rosy? No, or uh, Duck Duck uh, Goose. Uh, London Bridge is falling down. Do London Bridge. It? Yeah, all similar types of games. And Smuggy, if yeah. you'd like to get in here, I mean, <laughs> if if you have heard the challenge and you say to yourself, eh, that's not so bad, then by all means. But we are certainly up to some funny business for this one. Oh, we're going to have so many explosions, though. We should have a ton of explosions. So, such cramped quarters as there are on Glacier, they're going to be running into our warp all the time. Alright, I'm going to go... Uncle Enemy Weakness, I'm going to take the warp effect. Alright, it sounds like Smuggy is good to join us. Very good. So then we should have a fourth. Let's see... There you are. I also, I have three points that to pull. I re very rarely use pull, but I find it so great to have on like uh, guardians, for instance. Yeah, I can't remember what enemy we had for that. We might have hard set it for Geth just to avoid sync kills, cause oh man, 
Okay. I'm I'm not sure if it's possible if people start getting sick killed. Run away! If you can! <laughs> right. Why? Everyone What's wrong? Pharaoh, cool down. I think we might need to set it for Geth. Do I hear chicken noises? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, oh, let's do uh, let's do collectors, right? Possessed oh, abominations, God. Praetorians. That doesn't matter. Possessed Praetorians ready to fire their rockets. Get into cover! I can. <laughs> Scions with their grenades that we can't run yeah. away from. Here, let me get you in, Spuggy. Get out of cover for the grenades. Let's get into cover. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wait, we can. The waiting room. Gotcha, Smuggy. <laughs> Hello. All good. You might notice my new title that I would document it in chat in the server. Oh, hold on. Mm hmm? All right. Are we good to go? Now I'm curious. I see Van. It's just best of the best. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, in, the, in this, I was looking at Discord. Now I yeah, 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 in the Discord, I document. Very nice. Okay. Yes. So let me... Let's see. We're, we're, we're gonna need some equipment for this. <laughs> we, we're gonna need to throw on some stuff. We're, we're gonna need some equipment. I, 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 I always expect my Justicars cars to be weapon-based, so... Yeah. Uh, hold on. What? 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 I mean, what do I have? Does make a bit of sense. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a disruptor, probably. Uh oh! I accidentally hit store. This may take five thousand years. Oh, okay. Look out. Huh? Oh, I. Please, you said that I almost mind. accidentally did it. Never mind. We're good. Okay. You're going oh. with a sniper. That's very uh, ambitious of you. It's, yeah, I spec this for a weapon build. I, I spec my bubble shield to be uh, protection. Oh, uh, interesting. It, it basically a discount uh, discount demolisher. Hmm. Back when I was hardcore rushing adept promotions. Yeah, I definitely play her as a weapons based character as well, but uh, I it's more sort of a run and gun build to be honest. Well, the shield is what can only ever be in one place. Yeah, but I just use it as any other detonator or primer, to be fair. Just wrap it I haven't up. Done, I haven't it. tried that yet. It's very satisfying. You still, I mean, you still get the defense of it, although I haven't spec'd it for extra defense. You still get some defense. Oh, Let's do right Disruptor. Now. Tark, you were right. I forgot about the whole take a weapon that doesn't require getting reloads. <laughs> like ammo thing. Scorpion is definitely not the right idea. <laughs> I'm glad I oh. looked back over at your setup. Knight is very ambitious as well with the Paladin. Does not have the greatest of uh, uh, ammo capacity. Yeah, I think Lancer might be the safe choice. But you could go Collector SMG, definitely. Oh, yeah. And the uh, Particle Rifle would be amazing as well. <laughs> Knight says because I'm not a coward. <laughs> well done, hey. Knight. I applaud that effort. Oh, you could go, um, particle rifle? Nah, I'm gonna go Lancer. Uh -oh. Too much. This... Okay. I think that works for me. Although, actually, come to think of it, maybe that. Although now that I think about it, Reeve isn't exactly too good against Geth. It should respect. It is. This is true. I mean, <laughs> offensively, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a tr uh, challenge. Well, so, Reeve is my me. lifeline. I, I I always spec that for durability on Rajasticar. Okay. And if it's not going to work, then well, fuck me. <laughs> also, both primes and detonates is very useful. Although, it does, okay. but I've, I've always treated this as a weapon base. I've always been more weapon based when it comes to Mass Effect 3. So you you don't have uh, you don't have the. I'm not expecting to pull at all. No, I mean you don't have the warp effect on your. No, I have protection. 
Okay. Okay. Well, I guess it's good one has that one. Yeah. You have the warp, I have the warp. I don't know if Knight has it, but we have a little bit of different setups on the spheres then. I don't know. Warp probably. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Knight probably has warp. So are we okay. are we going for the lap around the map in for uh, each wave, or are we saying are we? don't need to? All right. Sure. Sure. All Damn, right. I might need to equip adrenaline instead. <laughs> so I, I don't think you're gonna need <laughs> the adrenaline. I think we're nah. gonna be going plenty slow enough that you will not need that. Yeah, never mind. I, I'm <laughs> sorry. If you sneeze on the sorry, they die. That's why you have Reeve. Yeah, that, <laughs> that doesn't Reeve. work against Get. They have to sneeze Whoa, twice. whoa, whoa, Smuggy. <laughs> that, that there is is not... That's right. I there we go. What we're doing. <laughs> it's all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're all good. right. So we can sort of get into a rhythm and establish an order, or we can all just kind of run forward and spam the sphere button. And <laughs> that will eventually end up working. Stop it! So up to you guys what approach you want to take. Oh, that was cool. But and we I also. Can, I can oh, manage, I'll keep trying to oh behind us. We could get stuck <laughs> if we get a little distracted. So the little movement that we want is putting up the bubble. Are we gonna say that's okay? So that's last time at least we said that that you still need to be in a sphere when you do that. Okay. Which is where like technically having. A bit of a uh, order or rhythm to it could be helpful. So we kind of switch off, and therefore we avoid. You know, now that I'm thinking, wouldn't Boom Room be the best place to just sit for a while? I mean, if we were going for camping it out, Stop! then it could be. But well, that's kind of the point of doing the the lap is to make it so that we we have to oh, right, 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 relocate right. and. I, I forgot about that. Make it a little more difficult. We also have to... Uh, that means we what can't if, kill this enemy. We, we can't kill this enemy. We need to finish the lap. Yeah, what if we kill everybody before we make the lap? Come on, we're close. Finish the lap. Finish the lap. And there we go. It okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Probably not okay. good for, for bubble spamming. Right behind us, menacingly! <laughs> Alright, we finished this lap, so we're good, we're good. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so yeah, the, the finish line is basically the LZ. Gotcha. And we might as well get a head start while we're waiting for these enemies to yeah, spawn for the next say, wave. Yeah, I really need to use the start of the wave. There's, there's a case to be made for deliberately not focusing too much on the enemies at the very beginning until we at least Fine, make some progress. Although we've gotten off to a quick start here, so we should be fine. As long as we don't stand completely still for the rest of the wave. There they all are. <laughs> they, they found us. <laughs> Can we stop by the ammo box real quickly? <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> uh, Black Widow moment. <laughs> yeah, so did go, somebody you. take a weapon that needs ammo? <laughs> okay, lap should be done now. There we go. Okay. Got that one a little close. Close? It's okay, wave three, we all die here. Ooh, targets, okay, this is interesting. Oh, hello. Okay. Do you want to nuke immediately, or do we want to make some progress first? Nah, uh, he's no health anyway, so we'll just do it. Oh, look out. The bombers can Kill be a problem. Kill the bombers <laughs> grenades do no damage. I'm back. I got your knight. Oh, that's the target right there. That's not just any target. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> Can I stop getting stun <laughs> We're good, we're good. We're up. We got this. Okay, we kinda need to make our way back. I mean... Here. Let's just not move come to us, us right? Come to us. Yeah. Okay, He's making his way through, through, through the boom room. nice when you can basically detonate any enemy who is right on top of you. Whatever you need to. Okay, but yeah, target is now targetable. For sure. Okay. Let's, uh, let's progress again. Move more toward DLZ. Okay, he's over there anywhere. In that general area, it looks like. Make sure we finish the lap. Yeah, you're taking the uh, Black Widow, which yes, yes, does does mean screen with shake is a bit of an issue with armor piercing barrel. So yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of throwing until you need something dead. In which case, oh, hello. I'm getting... Alright. You know what? I have an idea. That's a good idea. I'm glad that terminology stuck around even though I wasn't here. <laughs> But we aren't there yet, and we might be getting close to the end of the wave. That, that might be the last oh, one. Oh, there's one here. Oh, ah! <laughs> okay, never mind. You were outside the barrel. You were outside the bubble. <laughs> I think that rocket trooper. Yeah. One more. Okay. Just finish this lap. <laughs> okay, just barely. We got it. We got it. Oh god, 
number of times we warped that guy. Or rather, uh, reaped that guy. Uh -oh. Ow. Get up! No, go away. <laughs> yeah, Reed does. Reed's dead. Reed doesn't work against Geth. Uh, not the best. See, at least like Cerberus, like yeah, they only hurt when they take the round. Don't let them take the round. Ow. Oh god! But imagine having to deal with phantoms from Cerberus. They die immediately. They're only dangerous if you don't know their, of their existence. Well... Yeah. Ow. Shot master right there. Oh, 50 assists, and I feel like I've barely made a point of targeting a single enemy. <laughs> assists on wave five, it's over. Oh, there's only one enemy left. Okay, hold on. We, we gotta speed this up. It's okay. He's like light years behind us. Okay, good, good, good. It's just a normal trooper. Okay, we're good. Escort? Oh, where is it? <laughs> uh, at the worst possible place right, for us. Let's make a run for I'm it. I'm gonna take a detour through the middle. Yeah, we can go through the middle here, I think. If it comes to objectives, then it becomes a bit more. Uh, I mean, this objective is gonna take us around the map a bit as well. So I think this is acceptable. In terms of total distance covered by the end of this wave, we will definitely still have done the equivalent Detective. of one full lap. Let's go! Like, look, now it's <laughs> we're just uh, going back the there? other way I'm around the area scared. we skipped. Bye! I need to find some fucking cover. Oop. Oh god, it's outpacing us! <laughs> it's I'm too fast! Though. It's too fast! Imagine being faster than four Justicars. cars. Couldn't be me. Alright, so we can say that functionally we have completed our lap for this wave. I feel like when it comes to objectives, it's a bit more lenient. I mean, and at least for that one where we we basically did a lap one in a weird way that we made the loop, but we did kind of still make a loop. Okay, I got that minus 50 recharge speed. Don't worry. Oh, that's a lot of Oh, that's a prep. Okay. It's okay, my bubbles, sir. I'm so busy, so. He dies. Oh, hang on, okay. We, we gotta take a stop by the by the ammo box. Uh, not that one. Though. Prime has something to say about that. Well, that was beautiful. 
Trooper in front. And a hunter. Oh, let me grab this real quickly. 25, perfect. Pyro and rocket trooper behind us. Alright, lap complete. And a prime, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? What the camp here? I am throwing. I mean, <laughs> I would argue <laughs> we are perhaps all throwing, given the format of this mission. No, what I'm doing is advanced throwing. And that means you're doing something okay. right. Got it. Oh, I did not know that bomber was still alive. Kill the bomber and his grenades deal no damage. Right, I thought it was dead. I was wrong. Unless you see it die, assume nothing. Bomber dead. Oh. Is this trash wing? <laughs> might be. That might explain the quantity of bombers and pyros. Finish early, we can get, or if we finish the lap early, we can get a bit of a head start. Uh -oh. Uh -huh. ah! Okay, never mind. You're good. You're good. At this point, we've gotten a pretty huge head start, though. Sensors tell me only one left. So, does that mean if we do one before a wave? Before a wave is over, we don't have to do one the current way. Technically, so, yeah. I mean, it's so probably. Stay down here? Sounds good to me. But we can, yeah. I mean, if we want to, we can then camp out a little bit for this wave since we have such a head start already. Put up some barriers on both ends. Just a little room to move around. Does the damage protection stack? I don't, I don't think, think it does. does. No. That's dead. Wow. No, I think it's deliberate, because for the most part, you have to have separate skills to stack those types of things. Well, I'm going to assume it's going to take the, uh, the highest amount, in which case, ha, ah, I'm carrying. Hey, this is not a good position. Maybe we should back up. Yeah. I'm backing up. So I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> Pyro, not dead. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, you're right. 
Oh, where's the bomber? Bomber dead. Thank you. I might need some ammo pack or something. I got sick of it. Alright, we might need to oh make sure we actually finish this wave, because we've killed a fair number of enemies at this point. Or finish this lap. Ow. Give me this ammo. Thank you. Oh, that is a full health uh, prime right in front of me. Oh, it, it's, it's just saying hello. Ow. It is a dead prime in front of us. That is a not dead pr uh, bomber behind us. Okay, he's dead now. Flat gun. Okay, nice. One's down. Bomber. That's where the prime is. Okay. Nice. We did. Get up. There we go. Wave ten. We get escort again. Escort. Okay. Oh, is it right here? It's right here. Nice. That's right here. Where is it going? Back where we came from. Oh, hold on. Oh. Get up. Oh, oh hold on. on. <laughs> here you go. You know what? I have a couple ideas to get for this one. Not a bad idea. The best idea. Uh oh. Oh, it's going this way. Faked me out. It's almost done. We're done here. Okay. I think in this case, well, I don't know if we have to finish a lap because we kind of had to backtrack that whole time. I feel like event wave should be. Like, I mean, at least for the other one, we sort of did the equivalent of a full lap, even if we had to do some backtracking. This one, yeah, was backtracking. I don't know. I guess we still okay, covered we it. We got one in the crowd. <laughs> looks so crazy when we all spam the, the battle uh, sphere. It's a prime. We can probably outrun it. If you really want to complete Let's go. the lab. Let's do it! We are too fast, too furious. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. <laughs> oh, we all did that at the same time. I should have stopped by that ammo box for a local moment. There we go. Lap complete. Well done. Alright. We and did in right fact where outrun we left the prime. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> he's right where we left him. Nothing has changed. Nothing ever happened. Okay. Shield down. Dead. That's it. Do we need to do it for evacuation ways? Uh, I think we do. Or Okay. I have three good ideas left. I have a lot. Oh, there it's like... Oh, my Good lord, where did you come from? Oh, that's a bomber. Bomber there. Oh, that's also that a bomber. Not a dead bomber. We're not wasting my time here. Oh, also a bomber. Bomber dead. Watch it! 
Okay, so we either wait here until like 30 seconds, or we go till he back. Or we wait. What do we think? Yeah, do we do we want to camp out in the LZ? I feel like you guys have enough good ideas to camp either. I mean, speaking of which. Yeah, there we go. Now you're thinking with Alliance technology. So you can spread these bubbles out for more walking room. That. Yeah, 15 seconds? Yeah, we got this. Easy. Not bad. Under under forty minutes. That's a speed <laughs> run right there. <laughs> well done. All right. What's the next, what is the next circle of hell have in store <laughs> for us? Well, up to you guys if there is anything you'd like to go for for the next one. We could just go with whatever or specific characters, I weapons, only, enemies, arenas, challenges. I have a Depth Sentinel and Infiltrator at level 20, Soldier basically level 20. So as long as it's not uh, Engineer or Vanguard, I'll be good. And are those all the way down at like one or? Yes. I'm, oh. uh, yes, exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, well, if they're, you know, 18, 19, I, 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 there's I, I, basically no difference. Yeah, the soldier's at 17, that's basically 20. I don't think Cyclonic 4 can save that. <laughs> Well, I mean, you say that uh, we don't we don't have time to do a zero to hero, but you see what you are tempting me. I mean, doesn't platinum like go from one to twenty immediately? I don't know what it platinum doesn't. will get you up to. I don't think it'll get you all the way up to twenty, but it'll get you a pretty quick burst of XP. So yeah, it's. It's starting to get a little late since it is a work night for me, so this might end up being my last one, in which case, is there anything in particular we feel like we'd like to finish on? Uh... Hang on, maybe the answer to that is at another shot. Hang on a second. That is a full shot, oh god. Alright, it, it, it's telling me Volus something. Okay. I thought I saw it. Tark went Volus Merc. Of course. The only Volus Merc speaking of. Okay, well, I mean, them there's fighting words. <laughs> Put them up! All Nova Guards? Unfortunately, I'm level one. I can't do that. <laughs> Put them up, Dark. <laughs> Sorry, what? Uh, I I'm going to punch you in the face with my Batarian Gauntlet. I am challenging you to a fight. Hey, I am challenging you to a bout of fisticuffs. Fisticuffs. <laughs> Indeed. Are we tall hatted gentlemen in the <laughs> 19th century? Why, of course. Are we oh, scallywags? Yes, my good sir. Are we scallywags out for a romp? No, mere rapscallions. <laughs> Are we pirates all of a sudden? Yar. Mickey phantoms walk the plank! <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps.
What's the pirate pirate's favorite letter? R. R. Oh, okay. I mean, we've definitely been doing a lot of Batarian Gauntlet, Volus, and just Volus in general as of late, but I I still wouldn't say no to a Batarian Gauntlet, Volus Vanguard. How do you save a dying pirate? Another joins your ranks. <laughs> Fem, how's it going? Thanks for the raid, I appreciate that. How was your stream? What were and you guys up to? We shall see. Thank you for the sub as well. We are doing some Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. We were doing what is probably about to be our final match of the night because it is getting a little bit late. So we were just pondering. Oh. We were just pondering what's our, uh, what tone, what a direction we'd like to finish going in. So uh, we, were, we were talking about Volus. We were talking about some Volus. Skyrim tonight. Nice. What weapon do I have? Collector SMG now. We gotta replace that shit with Seder Ace out. So I'm gonna go Batarian Gauntlet on a Volus Vanguard. So we are going to charge and punch people in the face with a tiny little bowling ball. I'll put Batarian Gauntlet on. Yes, do it. I'm, a, I'm gonna adapt, but who cares? Uh, shotgun rail amp because Crusader is the best weapon in the game. I and could use a strength enhancer. I could the use more damage. Gotcha. Yeah, oh, and this reminds me last week I spent 2 million credits trying to get a strength enhancer, and uh, the game, I forget if it eventually gave me one or if it just did not give me any at all. Give MP credits two billion, or whatever the command. Well, it doesn't is. it doesn't matter if it never gives you any strength enhancer. But there we go. We got one quickly this time. For free. You know where is Fem? Get something to eat. Okay, I have now acquired a good melee damage booster. We must take power efficiency because when we are not charging or punching, we are dead. And we will take Disruptor for additional stuns. If you are not under the influence of Shield Booster at all times, you might as well just like quit the game because you will be sink killed indefinitely. Not that that really helps, but. Okay, oh, and before I forget, let's see, that's left over from last time. Let's reset the enemy in Arena. Is there a specific setup we would like to have for this one? Not Collector. <laughs> yeah, we could lock something <laughs> in if we wanted to guarantee no Collectors. <laughs> I wouldn't mind servers. Servers has always been what the most we, fun to fight. We just had Geth. We have had at least one Cerberus match. We've definitely had Collector. Have we had Reapers yet today? We did early on. We had at least one Reapers, I think. So we've had at least a little bit of everything, I guess. I was looking for a tiebreaker, but I did not. <laughs> My intended tiebreaker did not work. Condor Collector Platinum. Yeah, I guess that means we're doing Condor <laughs> Collector Platinum, guys. Sorry. Ah, uh, fuck. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, maybe we'll get a random Condor. Maybe we'll get a random Collector. <laughs> but I guess we can just go on known unknown. If that happens, I'm buying a lottery ticket immediately. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Like drones... Deciding they don't want to progress anymore at the final lap. Oh, my bad. No worries. Condor? Question mark? Out of, out of curiosity, do you have any mods installed? Uh, I actually have the no shotgun latency. Install, but I... Holy fuck, Crusader gang, here we go. Oh, look at this squad. Volus squad rollout. <laughs> Hopefully I'm sober enough to actually Oh, I almost forgot. That's kind of important. Oh, thank you for the stasis, I appreciate that. Anytime, dude. Anytime. Oh, 
Time to punch. Yes. Only mods I have are like chatting, putting, or hud scaling, and I forget the a shotgun latency. Hear them. Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. I don't know why I put Paterian Gauntlet on. Why dance. wouldn't you put Paterian Gauntlet on? I don't know. I might have put those shield boosters. Let's just say there's a reason why the icon Scorpion is actually terrible. Knight, I don't necessarily disagree with you. But yeah, the reason, there is a reason why the custom challenge redeem is, is a picture of the Batarian gauntlet. Oh. There we go. I was gonna charge that dude. And that. <laughs> Did my character just say take that? <laughs> okay, there we go. See? Punch a brute to death. Anything is possible. Sounds like all the action is yep, in here. <laughs> That's what we're talking well about. Well done, Volus Squad. <laughs> Imagine what the alliance must think. They're so lucky. This this is the kind of match where I wish a random pug would join us and just go, "What is going on?" <laughs> this guy's definitely about to sink kill me. He's totally about to sink kill me. It's okay. Crusader is the best weapon in the game. I don't think you will get many arguments from anyone. I don't know, honestly, I think it's a tie between Crusader and Rieger. Yeah, I mean, Rieger, obviously. But that one, in many cases, is due to bugs. That feels a little different. But as, like, a weapon that is properly in the shotgun slot, I think it's great. Like, a weapon that's actually shotgun. Right? That was interesting. Okay, oh. nice. Hello, target. Hello, target. Nice! Everything is fine. Everything is not quite fine. Stop punching me. I'm supposed to be the one doing the punching. They like. No, Dark! Firing off my shield. Oh, squad, assemble! We got him. Thank you. Yeah, you guys will deal with that target, right? We'll get back to punching stuff. <laughs> Stop dying to the charge. It's not the objective. Suffering from success. <laughs> right. <laughs> no charge. You're too good. Stop doing that. It's okay. We'll, we'll stop shooting with me. Oh, stop it. Build is. You're a brute. I'm not really sure I want to focus on punching a brute. Or Ravager for that matter. 
Uh-oh. Hold down. Thank you. You have to have a Beautiful. Oh, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> Except that's gonna kill me. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm right on you. Thank you. Get up. Thank you. Wow, stealing a kill. I got, I've still got over a thousand. This is cool. Alright, I don't think my other doors even have the ability to handle that. I'm at the bottom of the school, but it's okay. Just need to embrace the power of the Batarian Goblin. I need to embrace the power of the Crusader. Oh. Absolutely ask for that. Uh oh. Oh that oh that's the same thing. Alright, no. Oh I thought I was with you. Oh yeah, that said he was going to uh, scorpion. Out of instinct that it would protect me. God damn it. Ooh, that's well done on the shield. Just ignore the uh collapsed bowling ball next to you. Kill today. This is the only one getting sick today. It's okay, it's just so this screen can see. Oh, look out. It's okay, night. I got you. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Hello there. We were napping for quite a long time. Yeah, I just had to take a little power now. <laughs> That's a wrap, What's <laughs> like how we all got hit by the Ravager and all of us immediately shield boosted at the same time. Still keep doing it. It keeps happening. Hey, Ravager, sound. Two of them actually. Oh my god, we keep doing it. Oh, hold on. Good thing I. Actual good use of the Terrian Gauntlet. Clearing the heal boost glitch. Yeah, no, it, it legitimately is useful for that. I heard you need ammo and the state of the god, but really kill boost him. It's alright, no. Thank you, knight. Oh, oh, clutch. Clutch, okay, bolus bubbles. All of my kills are weapon based. I don't think I've gotten a single, singular, like, biotic kill. You keep going to Oh, 
no, that's the Banshee. Never mind. It's okay, in coin moment. Yeah, I, I prefer more punchable enemies. It's leg day, can't handle an incline. That's not gonna be a yeah, That's not gonna be a joke. Not dodge roll out of that, buddy. Wow, the shield. The shield used to go off without it actually activating. Oh, that's not good. Tark, no! Oh, what I missed. I was about to say, and I'll try to avenge you. And then I almost followed you immediately to the same fate. Work out night. If anyone's gonna get synced, it's gonna be night. Oh my god. Sink it. Knights alone. Careful, it's gonna get grabbed. No! Help him! Choose life, knight! Banshees aren't that hot. Don't accept their hugs. Oh, that's a banshee. Okay. Hello. Okay, time to go. Oh, dear. Where are you? There you are. I'm just sunbathing. Fullest style. God damn it. You stole it from me. Slow. I was born in the Batarian Gauntlet. Come on. <laughs> Make 
looking around the corner. Tearing gauntlet, that swarmer, sure. I was gonna punch that dude. I was gonna punch that dude dead. Punch that dude though? I might have to. I don't think he's reached any power since like wave two. <laughs> Crusader, man. Oh, God. oh, center hack. Wonderful. Understood. Wonderful. Earn, your credits. Earn our credits, we shall. Or die trying. Maybe not the best place for it. Can't revive. It, oh, what? Yeah, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. I broke completely. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. To fit for oh. Okay, maybe not that direction. Don't go that direction either, though. Oh, hello. What do you have down here, Tark? All right, there's only oh, one Marauder this way. Well, I definitely see him now. Hey, so I don't have any missiles. I can't really save this. Thank you. Just gotta keep moving. Keep moving to where they are now. There's a ravager down by the bottom. Oh, wait. Leave me alone, Bert. Important business to attend to. Must punch that individual. Get me up here! 15 seconds. Yeah, 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 I'm moving. Not that urgently, but I'm moving. Hello, I'm here. 
Knight, bait him with the sink kill or something. No! Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I went down at the oh, last second. Oh no! <laughs> Sink kills can be interrupted if enough damage is dealt. Is that actually what the little loading screen said for you? I have a mod for that. Oh, okay. It. I was gonna say, I don't I remember have, hearing yeah. that before. Yeah, I have the mod that uh, changes the descriptions of item of uh, powers and things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree, Knight. Uh. All right. Well, it is starting to get fairly late, and it is a work night for me. So I think that probably makes sense for us to wrap up with that. But thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Good to get you in, even on this. Not usual Horror. day for us to be playing Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, so I appreciate you guys taking the yeah, time. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> about that. <laughs> Alright, I will jump out of the lobby, and I will catch you guys later. GG's. GG's. Alright, let me jump out of Discord as well. But before we wrap things up in full, I suppose we can open up, I don't know, a few packs since we did just use our final strength enhancer of any variety, or at least of anything greater than level one. It'd be kind of nice if we were to pick up at least one more strength enhancer, even level two, but certainly level three. Okay, there we go. That was rather quick. It's almost like that's not that rare of an item, and yet somehow we had to spend two million credits last week to get any of them. <laughs>